What's up, catfish people? Hope everybody's doing good tonight on a lovely, what is it, Saturday night here in the Carolinas. We are out on lovely Lake Wiley, and I know it's late. I'm going to be surprised if anybody shows up for this thing because it is, uh, it's late. It's like 11.15. Uh, so this is dedicated to... Uh, Eight people. Dang, this is dedicated goodness. to all you people in the central time zone and the mountain time zone who we never take into consideration on these things. So, so yeah, most of my East Coast buddies are probably heading to bed, maybe still watching live PD. So we may have some competition going on there Oklahoma. with that going on. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, that's central time zone, right? Yeah, that doesn't make it into mountain time zone. That's central. That I do know. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thanks to our sponsor from Shad Shack. Boy, that's hard to read. There we go, give them a little plug. A nice little mug they got here with some bait fish on it. A little wood trim, the Shad Shack logo. Uh, I actually don't have the Shad Shack on here tonight. Uh, we are out anchored up. This is my son, Grayson. I know there's a lot of new people that are subscribing to the channel and new to the live feeds. And uh, this is Grayson. Say hey, Grayson. Hey, Grayson. Uh, <laughs> we're uh, anchored up. We tried the first place, and it was hideous. Uh, we caught one crappie. I caught one crappie. We you caught one crappie. catfish that was about that long, and that was it. And we had a pile of bait fish. Uh, we've got, we're doing stuff a little different. The other night when I was on live, I was out trolling, and uh, tonight we're anchored up. After I got done the other night, uh, I went and anchored up and uh, decided to, uh, over there, talking about your haircut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, yeah that, Grayson has no hair anymore, so. Yeah, that hair kind of sucks when you're getting in and out of the pool having to go. Yeah, doing that. And then, so. it, then you get this alfalfa hair back here, just out of nowhere, so. Yeah, we have that problem, so. Uh, but yeah, we decided to just anchor up in a couple of places tonight. This will we'll probably finish up in this place. Uh, we're anchored on a, or right next to a large tree, underwater tree. And uh, we got six, cat, seven catfish rods out. Uh, we're fishing with crappie. Uh, we're literally 200 yards from the South Carolina line, but we're on the North Carolina side. And uh, so we're obeying the law and fishing legal. So uh, that's what's going on. Uh, and then we got a couple of crappie and perch rods out underneath the boat with a light. We've actually got a light set up. There's some bait in the fringes over there. That may be a perch or something coming up. But yeah, we put a light out on the water just to try to pull some bait up. And uh, yeah, why do you fillet your baits? That's a good question. I personally think it spreads more scent by opening the fish up and exposing the flesh and the meat and all the juicy goodness that is inside <laughs> of it. Uh, I think it <laughs> provides more scent. Uh, you can fish them live, nothing wrong with that. You can fish them whole, that's absolutely fine. But especially here at night, I think, uh, I just think it spreads more scent and that's why I fillet them. Plus it gives you more baits. Um, what's funny is, is that I always fish some big baits and, I thought I heard a noise, that's the boat. Uh, some big baits and some small baits, but for whatever reason, uh, I ain't gonna say most. I would say probably half of my big fish have come on smaller baits. Uh, who knows why that is? I think they're opportunistic feeders. Uh, if you're trying to not catch little fish and if you're just wanting to catch big fish and not deal with little fish, use big baits. That is absolutely a wise choice uh, because generally speaking, all you'll do is catch big fish. But if you're wanting to catch some fish, Put a wide range of baits out there. That's uh, kind of what I call guide fishing. Uh, if you go fishing with a guide, they're, uh, the goal is to catch fish, and that's a good way to do it. So hopefully that answered your question. That was a long drawn out answer. Uh, I always chop the head off and use the head first. Yeah, the head's premier bait. Who was that? That was, uh, that was Mike saying that. Usually, if we use them whole, they'll just stab right where the blood comes pouring out. Yeah. Oh wait, demonetization. Sorry. Right. You um, can say you can say blood. The you just red can't show gooey it. stuff. Yeah, you can say blood. You just can't show it. Uh, the uh, what was I saying? 
uh, oh, about the heads, the heads, yeah, really brim heads, perch heads, skipjack heads, that's a primo bait. Primo bait. Now, you're saying no video, audio only. If anybody else is experiencing that, give me a thumbs down. If everybody's audio and stuff is good, give me a thumbs up. Somebody said that the other night, and I think they had their volume turned down on their live feed. Sometimes... It says no video, only audio. All right, really? That's weird. You prefer a live bait or cut bait? Both, to be honest. Who's that? Uh, is that Colton asking that? Do I prefer a live bait or cut bait? I like a mix, generally. I mean, we're kind of... Yeah, we got thumbs up, so everything's good. Uh, it's weird. I fish mainly lakes, and I know a lot of people that fish for flatheads. Good uh, Lord, they are spamming that in the chat. Myself included, fish live baits, but... Um, and they'll hit live baits. The problem is here, we've got a lot of channel cats and channel cats usually come in for whatever reason and kill our live baits. And just, they come in, bite them, smash them. You may get a pop or a pull down, but it doesn't load the rod up and they end up getting killed. So, uh, but I put a mix out. I think I've, this is just kind of my own little hypothesis here is that Lake flatheads are a little bit different than river flatheads. I just think they live and behave differently. And uh, I think you're just as apt if you're fishing in the right place to catch a flathead on cut bait as you are on live bait. So hopefully that answers your question. I like them both. I like them both. If I've got a choice, if for nothing else, having cut bait out, it's a great way to chum the water up, get some scent spread around. So that's kind of uh, my angle of attack on it. It's, uh, if I've got plenty of bait, I'll put them out, put out the live baits uh, and a mix. So uh, you'll seldom never ever see me fish all live bait. Randy's asking, is mullet good bait? Very good question. I've had a couple of people ask me that recently and I'm wondering why there's something up with that. I think it may be people go down to the coastal area and pick it up when they're down there. I've used it before and I've caught fish with it. Uh, I've actually got a video here on my channel. Uh, I think it's called like the unknown bait or secret catfish bait or something. And it's about using menhaden, which come from the coast. Different fish than a mullet. But yeah, I've used mullet before. I've uh, been down at the coast fishing and, and caught some great big ones and brought them back and used them. And and actually, the did you break that knife? Or is no. that screw always been going? Okay. Um, I'm just screwing it back. It just. Oh, yeah. Too many ah, okay. Mullet and uh, men Hayden both will catch catfish. So, uh, oh yeah, finger mullet, Sam. Yeah, finger mullet, uh, that's, I've, I've used those a bunch too because I've netted a bunch of them down there. And uh, yeah, man, they'll hit them. Even the big horse mullet, you can cut them up into chunks. And uh, some places I think hit them better than, the, uh, than others. Uh, Santee Cooper, I think they're a really good bait down there because they, uh, the actual mullet actually run up into Santee. And you can actually net them down there. So the fish are kind of accustomed to them. But most of these fish are fairly opportunistic feeders. And uh, yeah, they'll feed on the stuff. So good question. It's funny. I've had that when I asked a couple. Uh, let's see what we got in here. It's just pitch black over there because you don't. Yeah, that light's good and bright. Have you started guide fishing yet? Yeah, Tony, I do some trips. The problem right now is schedule wise, it has been, I've had a couple people reach out to me and it has been so hard to get anything booked up because of just open days. That's the biggest problem. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing them. I've got some stuff on my website, DieterMetalhornFishing.com. And uh, yeah, just go there and it's got the information and contact information and hit me up and stuff. Uh, the one time I will not be doing any guiding is October uh, into mid-November. That's, oh, boom, reel that one up. I think that's a, is that a crappie or perch? We got a fish. Grayson got a fish over here. What we got? Crappie. Crappie. Oh, perch. Here, flip him over here. I get up, you're on the right. There you go, flip him over. He's foul hooked. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, we got us a wide perch. I'd catch these all night. I'll, I'll catch them all night if we could get on and flip that live well open. Go ahead and bake that one up with another couple of minutes. We're just fishing. Oh boy, them things, that light is killing that. Woo. 
I got a new light here, but it is because we got so much black in the background. It's you know what'll make it show up. Stand close I mean, to me. Stand close to me. That should close the eye. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. That's a white perch. Looks similar to a white bass. Yeah, just put a hook a minute through the head. Watch that one right here. You got one on that rod too. Uh, might be getting on some fish here. Speaking of guiding, the guide may have to actually stand up and fish instead of playing TV entertainer. Are you still there? Boom. There. That one's a bit like a crappy. Oh yeah, that good crappy. Flip him up in here. Come on, come on. Oh. Uh, hey, see. That's one way to get him loose. Let me get my light off my head there. That will screw up the shot. <laughs> Grayson with a nice crappy there. Slabby licious. Slabby licious, mama. <laughs> so it's funny how it's it just gonna smack. Well, that's one way to get it. Yep, loose. Well, there he is. Let me uh let me get these baited up, guys. Let me turn this light off. I'll try to entertain you here while we're doing there. We got now we can see. All right, Grayson, this isn't a radio, or this isn't a silent film. You gotta talk. <laughs> so if you guys want a free cookie, um... You want a what? <laughs> if you guys want a cookie. Mr. Beast, guys. Grayson, listen, this channel is not Mr. Beast, son. I am not giving away... Hey, it works. Kind of stuff. It works. If you get this video to 50 likes, that means you want a cookie, so get it to 50 likes. That means you want all want a cookie, so yeah. You'll have to forgive Grayson. He comes from a uh, YouTube world of Mr. Beast spending a lot of money to get people to watch. We don't have any money here on Deidre Melhorn Fishing. We just well, got a couple of stupid fish that we're hoping to catch. Second. Why are you not baking these up? Because you said you would. You're fired. You are fired. You can only entertain them. Alright guys, uh, what I got is a couple of double hook rigs. Just got some minnows on them. Uh, and we just got them dropped down underneath the lights. Let me give you a little show and tell here on what we got. Give you a little show and tell here on what we got. We got some lights set up as you can see. We got a big light here. It's one of my actual TV lights. Battery powered light. Got that stuff set up there. And then under there over here in the darkness, a little bit dark, we've got the actual catfish rods out. And so we're kind of fishing out that way onto a tree hoping for a big flatty and then entertaining ourselves on this side with uh, some crappie rods with some minnows on them. So that's kind of the uh, MO on what we got going on. Let me get this turned back in here. Boom. You got those set, pal? A little different deal than what we had the other night. Uh, the other night I was just uh, trolling down through here. And uh, after I got done, I got to thinking, I actually came over, anchored up, put this light out. I said, you know what? This may be actually a good way to do a live feed is to uh, just anchor up, put out some uh, perch and crappie rods and try to catch a catfish at the same time. So anyway, it's kind of what's going on. Let's see what I missed here in the question section. Do -do -do. Bait fish here. Is there not any bait showing up here? <laughs> They're just tiny little things. What's well, funny, um, Dana DeLuca, can I please have a shout out? Dana DeLuca! If you have a, wait, does that, is that a YouTube channel or something? Uh, I'm sure it is a channel. You get a shout out. What's up? Grayson is the king of the shout outs. Yeah, go subscribe. If you want a cookie, <laughs> once again. 
Actually, uh, no. You get any type of cookie. Watch that rod. Watch that rod. Watch that rod. It's getting hit. That's got a fish. It's got a fish. Boom. Oh, quick release. Uh, you ain't gonna get him. He's gone. Grayson lost that one. Was that a small crappie? Yeah. Put a uh, another minnow on it and drop it back down. Uh, but yeah, this uh, what was funny was, hey, country girl fishing, how are you doing? Hadn't seen or heard from you in a while. We missed you at the catfish conference this year. Uh, hopefully you're doing well. I saw you with a big catfish the other day. I think it was on Facebook. Uh, I need to go binge watch uh, your channel. Have you been cranking out some content? Y'all go check out Country Girl Fishing. Uh, she's out there in Texas. Uh, and out I, in the country. There you go. I think her personal best fish keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Is Grayson a pro tennis player yet? No, <laughs> not yet. I'm but, better uh, than my dad most likely. He's probably better than me. Uh, but uh, he actually enjoyed it. He had fun doing it. Make sure that's all the way down. Put it in the rod holder and then flip the bail. There you go. Boom, now it's just cranked the slack out. Boom, perfect, that's good. Uh, but he actually enjoyed it. Uh, he did realize though that after doing the, uh, after doing gymnastics for so long and it being a daily thing and a daily grind, he has realized, and I understand this, that doing something every day all the time burns you out. So, anyway. Uh, and plus it was torture for seven, actually no, about two years of torture every yeah. single day of my life. Yeah, so he's burned out on the gymnastics thing. But the tennis was fun. It was cool. And uh, Idaho. Know. We got somebody from Idaho. Are there any Bigfoots there? Grace is looking for a Bigfoot. If you know where any Bigfoot are or channel catfish, what do y'all have in Idaho catfish-wise? Is that all channel catfish out there or is there other stuff? Because uh, Idaho doesn't come to mind as a big catfish state. What's Idaho? Hello from Kentucky. Grayson. Hey Grayson, my granddaughter Callie would love a shout out. You got a cousin named Callie. <laughs> yeah, That's I cool. thought it said call. Yeah, no, she, uh, uh, hello Callie. Uh, we, Hi, Callie. Grayson's got a cousin named Callie that was here for, God, they were here for two weeks this summer. Here for a month. Hanging out. So, it's, a month. no, it just seemed like a month because. Oh, because Avery was here for a month. All those little rug rat That's kids awesome. hanging around. Leopard. Is there any bait in there under the light? What's funny was the last place we set up underneath the light. Uh, I think I shot some video of it. Uh, thousands of little bitty tiny shad swimming around in the light. And now uh, we don't have anything underneath coming in here to the light. So what happens is the light, you put these lights out and the light draws in plankton and plankton draws in the little fish and the little fish draw into bigger fish. At least that's the theory. Uh, it didn't work at the last spot. It drawed in little fish and we could not catch anything. See, look at the sonar. There's a lot of crap in there. It's just not coming up to the light. That's interesting. It may be, uh, that's, that's weird, but that's kind of what's going on. See probably, if there's any questions in here. They've been probably getting popped here all day. So Crazy Street been... Kelly's asking, when is school starting? Well. When does school start? For Grayson, it's probably gonna start next week because Grayson's homeschooled. So he gets into, uh, there's a fish on that one. Which one? Uh, the closest one right here. One? Lift and see if it's still there. Uh, he's still there. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I think he is, but no, drop it back down. Put another bait on it. Sorry about that. Um, no, Grayson's homeschooled, so he uh, if he's behind on stuff, he doesn't get a summer break. And uh, I'm not that far behind. I just got a few yeah, more things. If he slack I'm on something, that's the only uh, for any of y'all kids out there that are listening. Homeschool may sound great until you don't do what you're supposed to, and then you never get a break. So there you go. What's up, Catfish Weekly? I figured Lyle would be up this late uh, doing something. You haven't, uh, oh, the mayflies. I'm starting to see mayflies in the boat. I'll show you something. I caught one. These are mayflies. 
Well, you can't really see them. Eh, maybe you can. I'm trying to make it dark so you can see it here. That's a mayfly. Little bitty thing, it sits on the end of my finger. What they are, if you don't have them in your part of the country, it's a little uh, crickster that lives in the bottom of the lake, uh, comes out of the mud, comes up through the water column, hatches, goes nuts, spawns, and all that in basically a 24-hour uh, period. And when they hatch here, we're kind of past the big push of them, but it's by the millions. It's it's really insane. It's not bad tonight. Most of, like I was saying, most of the bad hatches over with those things. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's a uh, not a fish on that one, is it? No, I don't think it is. I think it's just hanging on the bottom. Uh, Y'all ready for deer season? Mark, we actually went down today to the hunt club and uh, put out uh, some corn. corn feeders. We've uh, for the first time, what is that coming down the bank? Is that a bow fishing boat? Uh, we put out uh, corn feeders. We haven't used them before at our club and uh, put them out today. And uh, that looks like a bow fishing boat. Can we buy you a boat? Yeah, I think it's a bow fishing boat. It's really bright. Uh, but yeah. Do you know how hot it is out there and humid? If you're talking about here, it's not bad here. Uh, it's probably in the 70s right now. Humidity felt pretty nice. Yeah, today Take wasn't bad. It was feeders. it was in the 80s. Boom. What's that? Uh, yeah, that one. It was this rod right here. Yeah, but, that one. See on there? Yeah. Hey Jeff, Grayson's not a real good crappie fisherman. Just FYI, he's kind of slight. Is there still bait on it? Grayson, got hit Grayson doesn't pay good attention to the rock. Uh, would you rather have content and... Would you rather have fish and no. Drop it back down. I'm going to get over here to where I can manage the rock. There's where the problem is. Oh, God. Come here. Bring this over here. All right. We're going to have to do a detangle process. Give me some slack. Got a two dollar donation. Whoever did that, I can't look at the screen, but thank you. Did you see who it was, Grayson? No, all I saw was this blue, colorful, and I looked at it and it said two dollars. Whoever did that, thank you. That's very kind. All that money goes to pay for the uh, data plan <laughs> that I maintain so I can do these things. Uh, these are fun to do, but uh, they're not exactly free. All right, that one's, speaking of free, that one's free when you're out on the boat because I'm using mobile data to do it. But it's worth it to uh, give you guys some fun, fun, happy entertainment. I'm trying to... Is it really fun, fun, happy entertainment? This is a lot easier to stand up and move around, but it's also a pain in the butt because I go in and out of frame when I do that. So that's why I'm trying to stand here. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll just sit here with the rod in my hand. That's usually the easiest way. If we could ever get on a decent bite with them. That weight's way too heavy. That's a perch rig. Basically, all I'm doing is kind of uh, perch fish or crappie perch fishing for dummies. Uh, just a little double hook rig. Got a weight on the bottom. Uh, look at our stuff busting across the top. And uh, yeah, it's just popping them. There's smarter ways to do this. And I've got some... I actually got one over here as a split shot, which is probably an easier one to fish. Matter of fact, I may switch over to that in a second. But yeah, but that's all we're doing. Uh, hoping to hit Ohio River next week when it cools back down for a few days. Started watching your channel. All my fish and fish game. Angel, thanks for watching. Appreciate that. Uh, I've got a lot of new people, and I appreciate y'all. Uh, jumping over here and uh, joining the fray. I know it's a little bit late tonight to be doing a live feed, but uh, I know a bunch of you folks in the central time zone and mountain time zone probably appreciate it because uh, it's wind down time for you. And uh, 
And for us, it's go to bed downtime for us. And if you're like me, a lot of times I lay in the bed and watch these things. If somebody's going live or something, got something going on. So, uh, Mr. Gabe's fishing, Mr. Airship, and I scars. Is that Brent? Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the uh, appreciate the donation and also the kind words about the content. That's uh, very cool. Uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. And uh, it's uh, and Palmetto Cats threw in a buck ninety nine too. Uh, Palmetto Cats actually uh, chimed in the last time with uh, tossing some uh, coins out there. So that might have been the one Grayson seen on I appreciate that, guys. It's uh, very nice of you. It's a nice way to say. Uh, say hey and uh it's also a good way to get a guaranteed shout out so there you go but we give shout outs anyway speaking of shout outs we give shout outs anyway just for the heck of it now of and then shout outs, go check out my youtube channel grayson does have a youtube channel but uh grayson, you can see me ride a four-wheeler and i'll teach you how to call in a turkey and he's working on his turkey another two uh two dollar like dead on the money boom derek thank you buddy where are you from derek uh I was just looking to see, hey, we can see Walford. I sent that, that I, just that last name. I know some Walfords, and I was curious where they were from. That's mucho, mucho gracias. Appreciated. Uh, Y'all actually got to see a fish get caught, so that's a good thing. What? We Don't whisper. No. Speak up. Speak up. It's rude to whisper. We get. We get spit. We get. Spit. It's rude to whisper. Don't whisper. Never mind. Don't whisper. Don't ever whisper. That's rude. Grayson thinks it's cute, but I told him it's rude to whisper to people around. We got a whole crowd of people. We got a whole ro uh, room full of people. You can't whisper. Is it really a room full? It is. Hey, listen. If you have, you just think. That's a house full, actually. In our, in our house. That's Here's a house. the thing. When you put this in perspective, folks, there's 99, 100 people watching. I would be nervous as heck if I was standing up in front of 100 people talking. Uh, because believe it or not, I can get on here and jack my jaws to a camera screen. And life's great and there. wonderful. If I had to do it in front of a room of people, I would be a nervous wreck. But I need to do some fishing seminars just to get good at that and talk to a bunch of people. Well, you know what? Okay. It's like they do this, slide this over, put that one over one rod, and then put this one in there. There we go. What's Grayson's channel called? It's actually just Grayson Angel. It's G R A C E N. Uh, he's yes, just turkey. he doesn't have much content up yet, and that's why I haven't been like promoting it or plugging it. He just uh, he's uh, he's a little on the slack end when it comes to cranking out content. So well, uh, I would be in the middle of making a. Uh, video right now if we were actually catching fish the problem is he watches more youtube than he does creating content so uh but we're gonna if that's what he wants to do we'll get him working on it but oh look at those little suckers jumping but as many of y'all know that have channels and put any content up it's uh Pretty it's a grind hard. you got to work uh, Mr. Granger says, it's good to see Grayson back on the boat it's nice to have him on the boat he hadn't been out here a bunch lately his uh a bunch of the fishing we did, or that I was doing, was when his cousins were in town. So he was spending time with them. That usually happens during Remember the summer. Remember this, you won't see me for a while. And he spent a lot of time with, with them uh, hanging out. So that's why he hadn't been around. But yeah, it's good to get him back on the boat. So. Uh, oh, I thought that was Mr. Beast, that logo. For a second, like. Uh, well, I was on this guy, keep up the videos. Nice to see y'all out there together. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it, man. Colton throwing uh, some money on the table. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Colton Outdoors. I'll have to check that one out. The cool thing is, I think there's a way when I get back, I can actually see who puts, who uh, super chats the thing. What's it called when they put them? What's that called? Is that a super chat? I think is what they call it. Anyway, there's all kinds of little funky things on here that you can do. There's a name for is. it. Yeah. The, I know what spam chat is, where you just spam. No, nah, it's not that. But uh, it's much appreciated. Much appreciated. You guys, you Ohio River guys, thing the last two weeks is the spawn. The cool thing about the chat is, is that people can talk to each other in here and y'all can figure out all kinds of stuff. So, but yeah, thanks, Colton. Appreciate it, man. Uh, caught a four pound channel on watermelon today in Kentucky. Wait a second. Watermelon, as in watermelon, you eat watermelon or like watermelon colored 
soft plastic. That's pretty interesting if it's on like watermelon, watermelon. That'd be, uh, that'd be a good Palmetto Cat says you should have your phone out recording this for your channel. So, so that's, it's got the little cat cam that uh, Matt from Catfish Clothing sent me to try out. Uh, there's always an opportunity to create content. Just y'all in here that are watching, uh, there's somebody in chat, uh, in chat, Jeff Manning, uh, Reeling the Blues. I think it's just, that one just got slammed. That one? Yeah. It was sitting like that for a while. Oh, was it? It might have just got snagged up. But uh, yeah, Jeff Manning, Team Reeling the Blues. He's the one I did the uh, collaboration video on the world record blue catfish. He smashed his finger yesterday. It's like horrible. And uh, he was putting a spare tire on his boat or something. And I told him it was a missed opportunity to create some content because he had to like poke a hole in it to get the blood to come out and stuff. I was like, it probably would have got demonetized, but probably could have got 100,000 viewers out of it. So there you go. How does this thing turn on? I don't know, battery may be dead. Better get me dead. You hardly use it. Hit the power switch up top. Hit to hold it. Yeah, man, so it may be dead. I don't know when that thing was used last. Yeah, poor Jeff. Poor, poor Jeff. Rip in the know. chat for Jeff. Uh, Catfish Weekly sure wasn't borrowing a tractor. Let me tell you something. When Jeff borrows my tractor, okay, first of all, it comes back cleaner than when it leaves, which is very impressive. And when Jeff borrows my tractor, it comes back with more diesel fuel in it than what's in it when it leaves. And the last time it came back with a new hydraulic hose on it because something went bad on one of the hydraulic hose and he fixed it. So I'm we telling you, he is the back. only person that I will let borrow my tractor. And it's, it's only because I know that if he breaks something, he can probably fix it better than the actual people that work at John Deere. So that's the, that's the good thing. You never know what'll, what'll happen. I, you know, I, I, he used a trailer one time for something and he built a set of ramps for it. So it's almost like I like sending it over there because I may get something new done to it every time. So, uh, Dave, what is up with the catfish tonight? I'm getting distracted by big fish up here. There's, I think fish popping both of these. Catfish bite's hideous and I've got that one little bitty catfish and that's it. Go check bait on them. I'm kinds seeing of... white. I think I'm seeing. I still got bait. Boom! There went. There went a white purse right yeah, through it. Right up here. I saw. Are they like just right below the light? Yeah, I'm seeing them. Just well, don't. Yeah, I was gonna say don't go all the way to the bottom with them there. I see them just been sitting here. It's just dropping them right till that bait is out of sight and. Fishy. Swimmy, swimmy, swimmy. Swimmy, swimmy. Jump, 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 please. Sorry, we're getting distracted. We got stuff coming up into the light. So, jump in here. Is that Reinhold? Is that what it says? Thank you for the five bucks, dude. That is awesome. This is to show my appreciation for you, appreciation for your podcast. You got it right, Dieter. Don't stop. Very kind of you. Thank you. That's uh. Very cool to recognize the podcast. I didn't put one out this week just because I had a bunch of stuff going on, but uh, I'm gonna, I may try to record one tomorrow. Uh, so very kind of you to say that about the podcast. Much, much appreciated. For y'all that don't know about the podcast, I do have a podcast out that just started. Uh, if you go to my website, DieterMellhornFishing.com, right there on the front page, there's a little black icon for Dieter Melhorn Fishing Podcast. And uh, yeah, kind of talking about some different stuff. Uh, it's some fishing and fishing tips, but just some also fishing politics, as I call it, tournament fishing stuff, uh, just some different little things in there. It's, it's almost like when you listen to this live deal where I just jack my jaws for an hour, it's a similar thing, but I'm a little more on point and on one particular topic. I made some in... podcasts on my phone at the tennis camp thing. Oh, yeah? While Kyle and this girl were playing ping pong, I'd always commentate it. Put it that in. Swap those rod holders and put that one in there. You got bait on yours? Yeah. Did you check yours? 
This catfish bait is unbelievably bad. Um, the good thing is, I think there's some good fishing on the lower end of the lake. But it's during the day. We still ought to be catching some of these perch. I do not. These are coming up every now and again. That's it's just crazy. Um, so we got here. I love your podcast. I listen to it on my way to work. Joe, so that's pretty cool. That's uh, kind of the reason um, I came up with the thing is I listen to a lot of podcasts. And what's funny is I listen to podcasts that are like saltwater fishing. Uh, I listen to uh, it's Salt Strong has one, and Tom Rowland is another one that I like listening to. And it's kind of saltwater oriented, but it's kind of like mine in that it's not uh it's not all hardcore saltwater fishes like mine's not all the time about fishing for catfish yeah it's just it's a lot of just fishing talk so i listen to it when i'm like to what when we're on the road to my oh. podcast or who's the i was gonna say if you listen to mine I'd, I'd be shocked that you actually listen to mine because you hear that all the oh. time yeah you grab another sun drop yeah thank you i i have to suffer you went, you're telling me to shut up because you're like doing a podcast now be quiet oh yeah grayson will be in the background and i'm like be quiet I'm trying shut to up. Now I gotta restart this. Stop talking to your usually what friend. we do there that's part of the uh, challenge of uh not doing this uh professionally is uh trying to find quiet time at the house when there aren't a bunch of people around uh to do that hang on let me get a then I on here. I'm gonna drop one over on the shaded side of the boat just to see if we got some coming in there. But no, it's fun. Uh, Callie and Malia were here. It's impossible because they don't. Be it's quiet. just a good way to get some information out there and uh, communicate with people and give them something that is fishing oriented. So get that one down. Take us up with that line. Okay. We're at thirteen dollars, Daddy. That's awesome. I appreciate you doing that, guys. That's uh. The cool thing is that that one's gonna Here, roll I'll take all twelve over the of it and you get a dollar, okay? I hear you. you're a bad agent. You're a bad agent. Hey, I'm just giving you money because I'm not pretty. Let's cool. see. Yeah. Just kidding. Got a video about Captain Mad Jacks next weekend. I wish I could go to that. I'm working. What's up, on me? I don't catch anything. Matthew, no. A catching's kind of, uh, kind of tough. Is there really somebody from Bangladesh watching True Fishing? Is that really true? True Fishing BD, is that really, are you really watching from Bangladesh? That will probably... Bangladesh. Spell it. Huh? Spell it. <coughs> My throat hurts. Let me see if I can do it. A-N-G... L-E-D-I-S-H. It's D-E-S-H. So oh, yeah, that's why you said Bangladesh. Dash, yeah. If I you're really from Bang Bangladesh, you get the award for being the furthest uh, away. Oh, there was a kid on here the other night. I say he's a kid. I think he's a kid. You know what his name was? No. Coolest name that I've, I've seen on here in a while. Anchor. A-N-K-E-R. It wasn't spelled the same way, but it sounded like it was really cool. So, Anchor, if you're watching tonight, cool name of the week. So. Ladesh. Ladesh. Yeah, we get it. Ladesh. Uh, what baits we fishing tonight? I arrived late. Mike, that's cool. I hadn't went over it in a while. Um, I've got nothing but crappie out tonight. Uh, we, uh, it's actually one of the crappie I caught the other night. We are barely inside the legal zone for using crappie. Uh, the, uh, about 150 yards that way is the South Carolina line, and you can't use it over there, but we're on the legal side here where we're at using it. So, uh, yeah, keeping it legal. That's what we got out. It's a good bait. It's an excellent bait. We just ain't getting smacked tonight, man. It's, uh, it's tough. I don't know how much of it's boat traffic driven, if it's something that's just going to happen. You know, late, late, late. Uh, the other night when I did the live feed and I was trolling, I fished, I don't know, I probably was on here till 11.30 or 12. Went to another place and anchored up. And uh, I actually picked off some fish there. Nothing major, but, you know, some 10, 12 pound fish. So, uh, who knows, some of this may be picking up late, 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 middle of the night. Uh, 
So yeah, it kind of is what it is. Uh, wait, Daddy. Like Daddy. Yes, sir. You don't want me to mention that we were just about 150 yards over there using the crappy, right? You don't want me to mention that. We've been in North Carolina using it the whole time. Yeah. One You're eights, we fish line. You're uh, supposed to go with the joke. Man, Jax. Here's what's bad, Grayson. Is it awkward recording with your family, wife especially? Is it, is it awkward? Palmetto Cats is asking, is it awkward recording with your family, wife especially? Listen in. Here's the thing with my wife. If y'all know anything and have watched my wife, she has this ridiculously evil sense of, like, nervousness that happens when she gets, or she starts laughing when she gets nervous or uncomfortable. So if... Like the time on the Santee Cooper trip on the video where I put the catfish fin in my finger, she laughed at me. Um, oh, yeah, she died. Yeah. She and, about it, cried of laughter. It, and it's bad. She, it's involuntary, and it's not mean. But, I mean, honest, I, it was like when uh, uh, I had the gout in my toe, and it was really bad hurting. And she I was, like, laughed. stubbed it. She laughed about it. So, honestly, if I... If she was pushing me around in a wheelchair and dumped me out of it, she would laugh about it. So, <laughs> that would uh, be kind of funny, though. So, yeah, it, it's, it's just a nervous, mean kind of laughter. So, But then I cut my it, finger with scissors, and she gets a whole bunch of wrap and wraps my finger. like. Yeah. So, uh, so, anyway, to answer your question, in front of her, she would laugh and giggle the whole time. Normally, she just goes off to another little place. But, no, it really doesn't bother me. Uh, the thing that would be distracting for me is, well, I don't know. I, I thought it would be a distraction. I was going to say if I had a bunch of people watching while I was recording, but I did that at the Catfish Conference. I kind of just, I get so tunnel visioned on the lens and the camera that I kind of don't pay any attention. So. so, yeah, I don't know. Plus, I think I sound stupid anyway, so I just kind of entertain them myself, see if I can know. Let's see here. Hey, dude, really long time fan of North Carolina. Danger! That's a cool name. I'm going to say, do you <laughs> feel silly talking to the camera in front of her? Oh, no, not really. I, 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 the thing, and I've told people this, the, the thing that kept me from doing this channel for a long time, I was like, and I've had videos up for a long time, but it was just kind of putting stuff up, and I always... Do you felt, know more? I always you? felt kind of stupid doing it. Uh, but at some point, I just clicked something in my head and said, I don't care. I quit caring about how you think you look and how you think you sound and blah, 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 blah. And I quit worrying about it. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just detached from worrying about it. And that's why I get out here and ramble and sound stupid and look like an idiot sometimes. Mm -hmm. But in the whole pile of it at some point i give out some useful information so now we got boatwick all of a sudden sorry uh i say went fishing for carp today and got two bullheads on corn rise now looks like i'm going flathead fishing soon it's time to be flathead fishing and um, really, that's what we're fishing for around these trees. But I ain't having no luck. This is not good. Not good. Palmetto cats, I hope that answered your question. I'm uh, scrolling back through here looking at some stuff. Do you feel a real? I think my Bangladesh guy left. I don't know if there he is. Trivish. Just looking at the thumbnail, hang on. Ah, who knows? Hard to tell. Wait, oh wait. It's just north of Dallas. Man, okay. But no, we, uh, that's the cool thing about these fishing channels, especially as they get a little bit bigger. Uh, you do start to get people from all over that tune in to watch. And uh, it's uh, flattering, humbling, and all that kind of stuff. How many subscribers is my dad out? I don't know, I got at least 100. At least a hundred. Do me a favor, check those two perch rods just to make sure there's still minutes on them because those things are like getting popped and then it goes away, popped and goes away. There's Daddy. a bunch of little bitty bait underneath us. Oh, still got it. Still got it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop it to the bottom. I was gonna say, go all the way to the bottom because we're not getting hit in that mid water column for some reason. So, still got chiming in here. 
Uh, what is your favorite catfish species to eat? Southern Soul Outdoors TV. Southern Soul Outdoors TV. Southern Soul. I like He's that. I like that name. Southern, Southern Soul Outdoor TV. That's a good name. Uh, Blue Cats. That's the ones I eat. Uh, I, I love flatheads too much to kill them and eat them. I've never eaten a flathead, believe it or not. Um, and that's partly because they're kind of, we got a pile of them. They're not the dominant fish around here, so I don't eat those. Blue cats, uh, and it's usually the smaller ones. I like those. Using about that four to six pound is perfect. There's plenty of meat. You don't oh, have shit. to, uh, you don't have to kill and clean a pile of them. And the meat's not too thick so that you don't have to split it and everything to Wait. get it, uh, filleted to fry or to bake. So. What are we talking about? Talking about, uh, hang on, I got distracted. Uh, <laughs> what is this about? Oh, the favorite catfish to eat. Oh, favorite yeah, catfish. Blue. Yeah, yeah, blues. Definitely blues. Uh, Never flathead. SC Deer Addict. Uh, have you been too watery lately? Catfish biting there in this heat. Uh, here's the thing they're biting at some point. Uh, it's just a matter of what time, uh, what time of the day it's like here. Uh, there's fish biting. It's just what time of the day is it happening? Uh, these fish are going to eat uh, channel catfish. Well, pretty much all catfish, but channel catfish especially, their metabolism, the hotter water, the metabolism cranks up and they gotta eat more, so. And all catfish are that way. Spawn's pretty much over with. It's just a matter of finding the fish right now. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff going on with thermocline, but not really bad. For some reason, stuff's getting churned and mixed up this year, so I got a feeling a bunch of fish have went south. Uh, from where uh, I've been fishing here for the past couple of days. So uh, deeper water, cooler water. And these fish, that's the thing, man. These fish, this lake is about, I think it's 18 miles dam to dam. And those fish can literally go from one end to the other in a day if they have to. So, uh, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, I was distracted, sorry. Uh, oh, I was trying to tell you, read that. We'll go yeah. up a little. Uh, I don't know what it, I don't know what it means. No, just go up more. Uh huh. Uh huh. Bit more before the wow. Yeah. Water temperature. Water temperature is eighty six point six here. It's cooled a little bit, and uh, we had some nice cool nights. It's been around eighty eight, eighty nine, and uh, it's. Uh, it's gonna go back up again. It's pretty much at the peak of where it's gonna be right now. And from here on out until the water temperatures start to cool in about another six to seven weeks, uh, it's uh, it, it's just gonna, we're gonna stay in this pattern. So uh, fishing's gonna get better and better and better. Uh, we should at some point get into a halfway decent medium sized fish bite. That just hasn't happened yet. So. Uh, but we're hot. Wait, so. I, I don't get this. Hold up. Hang on, see if there's any questions in here. Uh, it, was, it, it was a question, but I don't know if it was a joke or if he was being. What was it? Go up. Go up. Uh, uh, I can find it. And, uh, Grayson's scrolling to see stuff. Oh! Uh, uh, Catfish Weekly took care of it. Thanks, Lyle! <laughs> Yeah, he was saying Lyle's one of our uh, appointed moderators in here, so Thank yeah, if there's you. anything stupid goes on, like talking about he'll get go, the boot. Like talking about me going back into the wound. Yeah, yeah, there's, you're gonna get stupid. That's the one thing is when you know you've arrived uh, in the YouTube world is when one you get haters. People are gonna hate you no matter what you do. I mean, you can pull drowning kids out of the water and. You know, they're like, you, di you didn't get to them fast enough or, you know, you did CPR wrong or whatever. And two, when you have weirdos showing up in your live feeds, those are the two signs that you're, uh, you've arrived. So there you go. It's, it's, it is what it is. Uh, the other thing, sign that you arrived is that you do these long enough, you ain't going to catch any fish sometimes. And that's kind of what's going on tonight. This is head E S as far as the bite goes. 
What are these sickos prompting? Who are these sickos prompting? If you would have read it, I kind of didn't understand. He said, when I get to the proper age. Oh, uh, yeah, you got, you got, that's the, that's the thing. You get, you get all kinds of crazy wackos, but. Thank you, Lyle, for that. <laughs> that's why we keep Lyle on. So we got bait and we're not. There's no bait sitting up here. Yeah, it's like everything is, you can see where it's at on the sonar. It's right above all that plankton bloom, but that's a little bitty bait. It's just not coming to the top. Well, let's see. Paint is asking, paint on the biggest blue cat from Lake Wiley. We got about four right at 60 pounds, 60, 61 pounds. I caught one. Uh, December of this past year that was right around 61 at right at my personal best I don't get too argumentative over whether it's 60 or 61 or 60.9 or whatever it's what was, 61 what's, pounds What's my lake Wiley? Ain't my lake Yours? Yours? That's a good question I'm pretty sure it might be in the 40s. So a bunch 30s. of your big fish have come out of watery Your personal yeah, best came best out of there Flat, Your big flathead came out of here but yeah, 60s, I've been kind of, uh, I just, 60s is kind of like my top end on catching fish for whatever reason. There's some bigger ones around, but uh, it just seems like I'm hung at the 60 mark. There's like, it's just, and I'll get one eventually. Uh, that's half the fun, so. Uh, Sam's asking about the Suzuki. My Suzuki is 12 years old, 90 horsepower, bought it brand new. Uh, the only issue that I had to deal with was replacing the fuel lines in it because that was the pre-ethanol lines. And quite honestly, those lines made it until two years ago. And uh, I had two, three years ago, there was one that started getting a little pinhole in it. So I just, I got them all replaced when I did it. The bad thing is, is that the people that I dealt with, Whoa, uh, bait the bait's coming up now, yeah. The people that I deal, dealt with at Carolina Coach and Marine, it turns out, did not use the right connectors to connect the fuel lines. And what ended up happening, long story short, was I had to get, what was it? There was something, I, I think I got a water pump or something put in, just some routine stuff back in January, or December. And I took it to the Great Outdoors in Charleville, North Carolina, uh, because they're a Suzuki dealer and they're closer to me. And uh, the guy asked me, he said, he said, man, uh, did you replace your fuel lines? I said, yeah. And he said, well, you, you put the wrong connectors on there. And he said, it's the wrong fuel line, too. And I said, well, I didn't do it. I said, this is a Zuki dealer did. And he's like, oh, so anyway. Uh, anyway, that's the only thing I've done is, is replaced. I did the routine. So I did have a throttle cable that, I don't know, about 10 years into having the motor broke. And, but yeah, everything else, motor-wise, uh, everything else. Put it to you this way. My next motor will be a Suzuki. It's, it's, and I'm thinking about hanging a 115 on this one pretty soon. I plan to do it at the 10 year mark. This one, uh, just, cause I mean, it's an older motor now, just to have something as much as I fish that is, you know, totally new. But uh, it's, uh, I think it's got, at the last time I did a uh, gear loop change on it, I think it was at 1400 hours and so it's probably in the 1500 range now. So, you know, that's not a tremendous amount of hours, uh, but uh, I will say this. There was a guy selling a boat like mine that had a Suzuki on it. A buddy of mine that is a professional bass fisherman. I won't mention any names. He was gonna buy it for some striper fishing and called me and he said, man, he said, that boat, he said, uh, he said that's, I, that boat's, boat's got a lot of hours on it. I said, how many hours ago? It's got about 700 hours on that motor. I said, dude, that's nothing. I told him about my Suzuki. And uh, he said, he said, oh, he said, when one of our boats gets, one of our Mercury's get that many hours, we start worrying. So I said, sorry to all you Mercury folks out there. I always have to poke and stick the Mercury people. Uh, they're, they're good motors. So, And I've actually owned, in all honesty, two Mercury motors. One was a new one. Uh, two stroke and that was an old V6 from back. See that boat going by? Got a little boom boom going on. I'm embarrassed. Now you're embarrassed. That's good. 
Uh, anyway, I got on a sidetrack there. Uh, Suzuki's are good motors, so I would never hesitate to buy one. So the one downside to having a Suzuki motor is, unless you're near the coast, there's not a lot of dealers for them. So you kind of have to be careful on who they, I mean, make sure you got a dealer halfway class. So. Yeah, Mike, that's all Bass Pro has is uh, Mercury, and so there you go. Because isn't that, the, what is it, promotion or sponsor? What's that? Bass Pro with the Mercury. Don't they like, aren't they like they, together? Their deal with Tracker Boats, they've got a deal with them to get motors very, very cheap, and that's why they hang them on all their boats. So that's where that comes from. I can see my dad buying a boat, and then when he's about to drive off, loosening mercury and they drive off leave it in the parking lot bass pro and then just switch Dude, off. that's where my first boat motor i had a boat from bass pro shop and they had a mercury on it it ran fine it's just i've heard so much bad stuff about them so it may not be true i'm sure there's good ones how are the catfish biting for you i can't seem to get them to bite it's range uh they're not biting good at all tonight we've caught one little bitty catfish and that is it dude and he about picked himself when he got it. Yeah, it's a little, it was a little one, but like, dude, I don't know what's up. It, it's just, we, the first place we hit was, well, really we're fishing, we're fishing flathead stuff, fat, underwater structure. Uh, but the first place should have produced some fish. Uh, so we didn't, you know, had the one little, we hadn't got anything here. I ought to be catching something i think this is right near where team reel of the blues was fishing last night so uh yeah it's it is what it is what it is so i don't know uh and uh, 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 i've read most of the comments because i don't think i'm tired but you gotta stay up for the content Gotta stay up for YouTube. Make sure you get that Stonefly's one. asking Facebook. I don't know if you're asking me if I have Facebook. Yes, I do. <laughs> Dieter Melhorn fishing on Facebook. That's where I'm at. You really think a 51 year old man wouldn't have Facebook? We gotta have Facebook. Any way to get your info, I'll send you a few. If you're talking about me, Stonefly71 uh, info, go to my website, DieterMelhornFishing.com and you can email me uh, or message me on there. That's the easiest way. That's where I kind of send everybody to. DieterMillhornFishing.com, go to the contact section. There's a place there where you can email or message or text or whatever, so that's the easiest way, so. I have no net. Team rig, right, you have to, <laughs> you look like Cornholio. <laughs> Uh, this is Grayson. He is a dork. Uh. <laughs> Somebody catch a fish. Just a fish. This is bad. And it's dark, too. That's the thing, man. There's no... There's no moon. Daddy, you look good for 51. Ha, 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 ha. That's what he said that, and he just put a whole bunch of laughing emojis. Says haters. Those are haters. Uh, Rig Rap is in the house. What are you doing up this late, man? This is past your bedtime. Do you fish up Cedar Creek from Lake Watery? Uh, I do. I like fishing up there, especially in the springtime. Uh, it's always a good time to go up there. Um, and, but I hadn't been up there in a while now. We haven't fished. I kind of wanted to take the boat down this weekend to our hunt club down there, but it didn't work out. And so it, it it is what it is but yeah i love any of that area especially in the springtime the late winter springtime uh anywhere up in upper end of water is fun fun nice fishing i'm just kidding danger it's cool i just i i call everybody a hater like rig rap he's a hater he he's just a hater <laughs> He's a hater. What did he? I'm, I'm trying to figure out why he's even up this late. That's just weird for him to be up. Somebody must have broke into his house or something this late. So that's uh, weird. I was like, wait, did a melon run? Oh, hang on. 
He's about having a little alarm set up, so if I go, go live. This is, I think, probably the latest I've went live. What's amazing, though, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, right there on the, that's a crappy. That's a crappy. Don't lose him. That's a catfish. That may be a catfish. It's either a catfish or a big crappie. Did you lose it? Are you kidding me? You're going to have to just, listen, it's only about a mile to the boat ramp. Just jump in and swim back up there. I love you. Was it catfish or crappie? I love you. Was See you guys later. Was it catfish or crappie? I think it was a catfish because it kind of took it. Hand me the rod. Let me look at it and see. Oh, no. It's failure right there, folks. Failure. And the Let's bait see. came off. Wow. Let's see. I don't see any slime. I think that was a slab. Oh, God. That was a slab. There ain't a bit of slime on that thing, though. That was a slab delicious crappy. <sighs> we could eat for days on that sucker. He was barely hooked, obviously. Oh. It took, the, it, took it. Poor management. Poor rod management. It took it and just. And this is this is a highly specialized crappie rod here. Hey, you want to know? Listen, what the problem is is this. Look. This is a this is a real crappie fishing rod. It's a B and M. Okay, it's a real one. It's a real crappie. This isn't some hobo special from Walmart. This is. Real crappie rod. You lost the fish on it. Yeah, because. Wow, that's just bad. Hold up. It's where you just go, yeah. This is where you just, this Grayson, this is where you just go, yeah. I just messed that one up. Have an excuse. See this right here? This little gap. You have an excuse or a reason? A reason. Oh, okay. This little gap right here, like uh -huh. I hang on to right. this, when I pull it up, it's like, no. Right. Oh, okay. See, look, I'll prove it to you. Can't hear it. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, yeah, you look at, look at, look at. Look at, look at. Oh, there's something in the, there you go. Get that one in the holder. Look, get it where you can get it out of the holder because we don't want to have lose another one. We got enough crappie for you and I to eat, but mom's got to have something. Where's mom at? Man, they're all in the edge of this stuff. Dang, that's heartbreaking. How deep am I fishing? Well, here's the deal. We're sitting in 20 feet of water. <laughs> uh, we're fishing everything in the bottom two feet. Uh, we tried putting stuff. I got one over here that's mid-range, and there's nothing hit it. We tried that in the other place, too. We tried fishing right underneath what bait was coming to the top. Uh, but it's just, it's, it's just not hitting it. As far as catfish rods, I've got them everywhere from 20 on down to about 30 feet. We're right on a slope, a little ledge there, and uh, we got them all the uh, way out. So, what is the catch count for the night? On catfish, it's only one. We've caught, I don't know, two or three crappie and a couple of perch. Uh, so, it's not, it's not exactly on fire. We're kind of swinging big on the catfish end because of what we're what and where we're fishing just around some of these submerged trees and oh, look, uh, folded islands so not here dude i can't believe none of those dead gum rods uh, it's just it's crazy crazy so is, there's red eyes, I'm responding. what bait crappie we're using crappie for bait there uh rig wrap uh, We've got a big, huge crappie head out there, and then a bunch of little fillet pieces. We are, where we're fishing at is in North Carolina, so it's legal to do it. We had a big old. Whoa, look at that rod. Is that hung or is that? What? That. Is it hung in that tree? Add gum it is. Just uh, give it some line and put it back in there. There you go. Just let it sit. That one. That's the thing. We're working. Let me. Sorry about that. I thought that was a fish. I was like, holy. Yeah, that one. I think got into the tree. We're kind of. Uh, let me get some water on these minnows before they die. Before any more of them die. We're right on the edge of some trees, so. Uh, 
Look. We're dancing with the devil. So We succeeded our goal. Everybody wants a free cookie. I said 50 likes so, and everyone uh, wants a do free Do you ever cookie. keep fish, Daniel? Yes, we do. We actually keep some. Oh, that's the phone falls some. off the thing. We keep some to eat now and then. Almost, uh, I've got some crappie back here we may eat or may use for bait. It just depends. But uh, yeah, I'll keep them. I'm actually going to try to do a catch and cook thing here week after next. So stay tuned for that. Uh, somebody was asking, are B&M rods made in China? Uh, I don't know for a fact, but I would bet money they are. I don't know of any rod that's made in America outside of the ones that uh, <coughs> Lyle does there from Catfish Weekly. Uh, but I mean, even them, the parts are made in China. So I would bet that any mass manufactured rod that you buy is made in China. So that's a, I think there may be one company out there that makes them in America, but yeah, I think anything that's halfway, hang on a second, is that a fish? Or... No, that's just bouncing. Do you ever use Okuma Classic bait reels? I never have. What are those? I never have, let me check this bait. The only thing I use are, it's still on there, it's just a little light. Wait one. You got a fish? Yep. Perch. Poich. Flip him over here. Flip him over here. Perch. That's a good bait size. Uh-huh. See, I caught one and redeemed myself. You did redeem yourself. Go ahead and bait it back up and drop it down there. Grayson with the perch. Hello, world. Hello. I'm going to be a bait. Perch eater. There we go. Oh, here's a bait. I would say. And you know what? There's some dead ones. If you grab a dead one, you can put that on there. They'll hit that stuff just as good. Where was I? Yeah. We got, uh, perch is better than nothing. At least something to keep the rods going. It's just. Uh, even these suckers, it's just not on fire. This could be one of them things where they start biting at two o'clock in the morning. So I don't think Grace is going to be awake for that. So it's uh, well, not looking good. Let me know when they start biting. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the way it goes, man. It's uh, sometimes nighttime fishing is great. Sometimes it's hideous. But somebody, back to the thing about the b &M. Yeah, I think they're made in China. Everything's made in China. I mean, the... Uh, uh, catch the fever rods that I use, they're made in China. So, uh, ugly stick rods, they're made in China. Everything's made in China. Or somewhere over there in the uh, Asian uh, Pacific Rim world. So, uh, what's that? I thought I heard something. Is that you beating them? Okay, yeah, it's it just uh, made in China on the rod. That'd it's just the nature of the beast on making stuff that's halfway affordable. So, there we go. You make it in China. Alright. I don't want to jump over catfishing. I want to upgrade to a bigger boat. I want something new. What should I look for? It's range. You should buy my boat, is what you should do. You should give me 50% more than it's worth and take my boat. No, um, in all seriousness, uh, I think somebody just said in the feed, buy as much as you can afford. Uh that's true. Uh, it kind of depends on how you're fishing. That's a very tough question to answer uh, because it kind of depends how you're fishing, where you're fishing. And uh, the what? Somebody was asking about the Merlino Pinky. Oh, thank you. Uh, what was that? That was my foot. Is that your foot? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> it kind of it, it's a very personal thing on picking a boat as far as where you fish and how you fish and that kind of thing. Um, you know, it's like for me, I'm very picky about having high sides on a boat. Uh, that's why I'm not a big fan of like the uh, uh, Sea Arc boats uh, and and the way the sides are on them. Uh, you know, I like having higher sides for one safety when you're out here stumbling and fiddling around in kids. different conditions yeah especially with kids but you know if you're doing any guide fishing or anything like that you got people on the boat i just feel like they're safer uh the double-edged sword is if you fall out of the boat you got to have some way to get back in it that's a little bit easier it's hard to get back in it's, it's hard to fall out of hard to get back in it also gives you more safety when you're in you know rough water that kind of thing you know, if you're fishing rough water, you know, are you going to want something with a, you know, a, a deep V, that kind of thing? It's just a tough question to answer. Uh, 
it's just, uh, it's really tough. I'm actually going to try to put together some catfish boat reviews. There's, I think, of the three big ones, uh, there are dealers. You got him? There are dealers for those around here. I think it might be a crappie. Is it crappier catfish? That rod's bowed pretty good. Oh, that's a slab of this one. Uh, now I really redeemed myself. Now you've redeemed yourself. That's an... So, drop me another bait down there. That's good. Check the bait on that one, too. Let's make sure those are still good. And they're on the bottom, right? Everything's sitting on the bottom? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Slablicious. I got the one you were complaining about. Okay. Thumbnail. Look, he's all beat up, too. All right. Thumbnail. See it right there. Could be the thumbnail. Good job. Cool. Bait them up. Put them back down there. Who knew fishing was so fun? I'm telling you, if these things will ever get pulled in here and we start catching them, it would really, really be fun. Oh, yeah. So, um, what I was going to tell you was there's XL, uh, there's a. Uh, Sea Arc and there's uh, one of the other ones, G3, around. So I'm going to just do some stuff on those boats and kind of what I like about them, what I don't like about them. But honestly, uh, you know, if I, what would my next boat be? I don't know. I'd love to have something that's a. Something that has a toilet. Cause you, know... you don't need a toilet, son. That's what you got a cast net bucket for. That's a perfect reason for a cast net bucket. If you would go through my dad's phone. Hang on, is there a fish on here? Oh, look at that. Got one from the, from the, from the captain's seat. I don't know if he's really dumb or really Oh, oh the captain caught one over here while he was jacking That's his jaw. That's a nice one, too. Another slappy, slappy crappy. Woohoo! Uh, hand me the pliers, son. You need the pliers? The boom pliers. He's kind of throat hood. Look at there. Slabilicious. Now that one came mid-range in the water column. That one was uh, down at about 10 feet under the boat. That's the first one we've caught that's been there. We'll take what we can. But yeah, I don't know what my next boat would be. Uh, I mean, I'd love to have a, yeah, all right, uh, let's, 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 let's look at it this way. If, uh, if I had a sugar mama out there and she wanted to buy me any boat, it would be a Lund Grand Barrett. That is the ultimate boat, in my opinion, for a lot of stuff. If you are, that line coming off funny. If you are striper fishing, chasing catfish, uh, walleye, which I don't fish for, uh, any of that stuff, that's on the tip, hang on. That is a, to me, it's the ultimate boat. It's got a nice deep V bow on it. You can run through some rough water. I mean, some rough water. And, uh, but it ain't cheap, man. It ain't cheap. So, uh, so yeah, that's kind of, what was that uh, Catfish Weekly was saying? Yeah, the Lumacraft. That's the one I'd like to look at because I think that same, that whole design and boat build design and all, I think is an excellent boat. I haven't looked at one personally, but I think that design. Oh, come on, come on, who you kidding me? Jesus, are you trying to? No, hit me? it was uh, the line. Boom! Came back and got it. Oh, like a boss. Who's your daddy? <laughs> now listen, that's two. I've caught mid-range, so. I'm the, the other thing is, if you notice, I'm catching them on the shaded side of the boat. Uh, if this keeps up, we might need to move some stuff to the fringe area here. Here, let me just turn this light no, on. Because no, what happens is a lot of times these things will get into the, uh, they'll work the shade instead of getting out into bright light. Goodbye, y'all. There we got one. Uh, let me hold that. What was I? I was talking about the boat that Lyle has. So, yeah, those are... Another one that so I'm fetching minnows out of the bucket that I think are good boats. So 
The one Steve Douglas has, that's another cool one. Um, let me turn on that air rider. I'm going to come to the shaded, shop, shaded side now. Just remember, you ain't going to have a rod holder there. There you go. Let me put this in there. Keep an eye on that one. Um, I'm distracted. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, that's that was a uh, big tangent. Uh, who's that? Cat King's talking about the pontoon, dude. I love pontoons. Uh, that's what I started out with. You know, the biggest thing with the pontoon is uh, if you're trailering it a lot, especially by yourself like me, it can be a pain in the butt. Uh, there's like a lot of things you kind of get used to it. If you're leaving them in the water, they're really, really nice. You got a lot of room on them. And uh, the cool thing is now they build them. You can put some big motors on them. They'll scoot across the water. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, they're good. They're good fishing platforms. Uh, biggest thing's the room on them. But the thing I hated with them was dealing with trailering them by yourself and stuff. They can be kind of a pain depending on what kind of trailer we set up the other thing is towing them uh i've never i guess the one i had one but it just feels real squirrely towing it i don't know and i almost look like it had something swimming around it so so where is that man we got off on all kinds of tangents here hello from kentucky tater tot somebody with the name tater tot i like tater tot that's a funny name uh, if you plan on fishing tournaments, then you need a minimum 22 to 24 with a 100-gallon live well. Bent rod guy, I'll tell you this. I don't know why somebody would need a 100-gallon live well. That's 800 pounds of water in a boat. Uh, I think this is my argument on tournament live wells. Even if you're trying to carry a bunch of fish, you're better off to have a live well that is that deep and that wide than to have one that is that deep and that wide. Because all of y'all know that fish, catfish tournaments, those fish go right to the bottom of the live well. Uh, perfect world, a tournament. I, I mean, I, I've got a portable one that I use when I fish tournaments. Uh, in a perfect world, if I could build one, it would be probably about that. Well, probably maybe a little deeper. Deep enough for a big fish and have lanes in it. If you can imagine lanes for the fish, oh, that sounds crazy. But then water flushing over them uh, front to back. I think that would be the perfect setup. Uh, the other thing I wish they'd do is that I wish they would get away from these five fish tournaments and stuff. I wish they would go to one or two fish. I think that's a uh, much better way and it would help reduce the cost and some of the room and every, all the other crap with the boats. If you wanna hear me whine and complain about that a whole bunch, Go listen to my podcast where I talk about it. I've got a whole line of stuff on there, but I will never, I will just go ahead and say this. I will never be buying a boat that has a huge live well in it. Uh, you know what happened last time I said never, right? It happened. Yeah, I ended up doing it. Uh, I don't, I'll, but I'll, I don't want a boat with a big live well in it. I, I think it, I'd rather have the room. I would rather, if I was going to tournament fish seriously and had to have one, I would build a removable live well for it because the majority of my time is gonna be spent either fun fishing, family fishing, or guide fishing, and I'd rather have the room. Uh, so anyway, that's another he tangent. You, he said you'd never let me play Fortnite again. We'll get that's true, happen. you got to. Panfish is in the house. What's up, Panfish? My buddy catching them big old fish out there. Y'all gotta check his channel out because we got a video together uh, where he tells me the where to point the boat and then he catches the monster fish. That was a cool trip, that was fun. He's the one that, remember you caught your personal best striper yeah. in Tennessee? He's the one that gave me the 411 that on where fish, to go. That was cool. That, now, it that, might be, cool. that fish might look awesome and all, but those scales and its fins just stabbing into you however you try to hold it, how it's I was holding it. You ever driven a boat before? What's up, y'all? First time driving a boat? Yeah, I remember our first time too. Yeah, y'all check out Panfish, cool channel, good guy. Uh, you have uh, five fish you need. Also, you could attract more contestants because with five fish, you need two people 
with only three fish, single fish is going to do more. Yeah, uh, but there's a whole lot of arguments in both directions on a helicopter. It's a medical helicopter. That's not good. Uh, to be the, the, the whole catfish, the whole catfish tournament model is antiquated, plain and simple. It's, it's, it's something that was thrown together 20, 25 years ago, 25, it's more than 20 years ago because I was fishing them then. And it was based on bass tournaments and they need to change stuff around. They need to, that's just weird that medical helicopter's flying that way. That's kind of odd. Uh, but yeah, they should need to change stuff. Lee, what's up, dude? I'm laying in bed. I have a spot cut off my foot. Were y'all on the lake? Oh, Lee, you're, oh, you had to have something cut off your foot. Oh, so you're not fishing. I thought you might be that are laying at the fire department. We're fishing, dude. Uh, we are, uh, we kind of got on some uh, crappy there for a minute. We uh, put a few in the boat and Grayson lost one. Big one. It was about that big. The biggest crap. It would have been a new world record, possibly. There was Maybe. not. This the other day. Wait, what? There we go. Okay, I think we're back. There, we're back. Sorry about that. We lost signal for a second. If you can see us, hit the like button. Oh, okay. That's weird. So, anyway. Yeah, hiccup somewhere. One of the best live feeds I have watched. Grayson Rocks. Thank you. Bent Rod, God, that's very kind of you to say. Uh, they're even more fun when we're catching more fish. I don't know. Sometimes I like a good balance of fishing and talking because... Sometimes when you get to catching a lot of fish, it can get kind of quiet and it's sort of entertaining. Uh, but, but it's not. But it's not, if that makes any sense. So, uh, Daniel Ishmael, did we catch anything? We did catch, I don't know when you left, but we had a flurry of crappie there for a minute. So, uh, we'll see. Wait a minute, I just saw pathology. That never is good. I had to have it sent off for pathology. Well, dude, I hope... Uh, I hope all that works out. Wait, what's pathology? No, there's no bait on that. Pathology is when they send off a, like, like you get a, something cut off your leg or something, they send it off to see if it's uh, cancerous or not cancerous or, or this or that or the other. They basically analyze it to see what's up with it. But he's not getting it back. Well, no, he doesn't get it back. So if there's nothing wrong with it, it wasn't they worth it. They won't send the growth back to you. No, if you don't So get if it. nothing's wrong with it, it wasn't worth it? No, it's you get it cut off anyway. But they just check it out to see what it's uh, if there's anything like you know if it's anything bad, bad or maybe yeah. bad or futuristic bad. Or yeah, let me ask I you this, Lee. Let me ask you this, Lee. Salad. It wasn't. Crap. It wasn't from uh, not wearing sunscreen, was it? Uh, were you scolded by the doctor or for not wearing sunscreen, or was it something less than that? I wear sunscreen a lot. I'll take a moment to preach to everybody. We should all wear sunscreen. Uh, or have a good bimini top. Or do both. Uh, because, oh, dude, that thing might be getting hit as soon as we hit the boom! Smack down! Uh, drop it in their face! Uh, oh, get him in the boat. Look out, look out. Oh, oh he made Oh, made it. Oh, then, oh, oh. Ooh, just dropped it down and hit him in the head. Ooh, got a little mark on his head where I hit him. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Look at that mark on his head where I hit him. Oh, oh, oh. It really oh, yeah, it's right there. Get up here in the light where you can see it, where they can see it. See it, see it right there? Look, look. There you I go. saw that coming. You saw that coming, didn't you? God, I love you, boy. Ugh, how can I have this much energy in the middle of the night? Well, part of the reason is we you got a, a four-hour nap. Yeah, it wasn't four hours, but three hours. It wasn't four uh, hours. I did take a good nap. We got up to go put out deer feeders this morning, and uh, I took a nap. So, I'll say drop back up here. They may be more keyed in on that. We got enough crappy to eat now. We're going to have some sandwiches. We're going to do a catch, kill, and cook. Right 
getting ready. To, I'm getting ready to school the boy here. I'm gonna hold this thing in my hand. Anyway, there ain't gonna be no getting away. Uh, if you're gonna brag, who's gonna be the bigger person? Yeah, let's see. Oh, there, somebody, somebody, like let me see what I missed here. And you would be like. Mm. Yeah, that's why he keeps ignoring the question on why his comments are disabled at Joe, my fellow Jones. I'm trying to see. Yeah, probably they are disabled. All earn the child prayers, blah, blah, blah. You need some log. Anyway, the child comments thing. We got 111 people. Good time to spread the word. Glad you brought it up. Uh, that is not me that disables it. That is YouTube. YouTube, I've got a video on my channel. You can search it. Just put in comments disabled in my name and it'll show up, and I kind of go into a deep explanation, which I will do right now. Uh, they turned off comments on, I think it was around 100,000 channels back in February, March, something like that. Why would and you it, explain now? You gotta wait. You gotta have them go through the video, then you get paid more money. Uh, it, trust me, it ain't gonna be that much. Uh, <laughs> but they turned off the comments on a bunch of channels. It has something to do with some kind of child predator thing that was going on in the comment section. So any channel that, not any channel, but a bunch of them that had kids in them like him, which some of mine did, uh, they disabled comments. Uh, the big, if any of y'all watch the biggest catfishing channel, Catfish and Carp, Luke has a second channel with his kids called Outdoor Boys and they disabled the comments on it. But for some reason didn't disable them on Catfish and Carp, which makes no sense because it's the same kids in both videos. So. Uh, One of them's just kids, though, I'm pretty sure. That might be I have, but my channel's not just kids, so that's there's no logic or rhyme or reason to it. I've reached out to them multiple times, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a uh, pain in the butt. They kind of go, we're working on it, we're going to fit, blah, blah, and then I hear that there's some rumors that they may take away comments on all the channels because of some of the legalities with it, so who knows? We'll see what happens. Good thing y'all can still comment here, though. So, uh, his second channel's comments disabled. Yep, Panfish, that's right. Uh, I got into actually a little chat thing with them the other day. If you go dig deep enough into the YouTube help thing, you'll be able to get a live chat with somebody at YouTube. And they talked to me, and she understood my frustration and saw the multiple times I've reached out, and they still don't have an answer. So, the one thing I do, though, uh, is on all the videos if you go over to uh the community section on my page i try to put all the videos up and you can leave comments there and talk so that's kind of our roundabout way of getting around it so so yeah that's kind of a good answer for that so y'all know what's going on so Dieter uses community tab for comments that's right panfish panfish is my salesman good job uh youtube channel and catfish and carp are the best on youtube wow daniel Daniel Gonzalez giving me a Daniel Gonzalez gets a big shout out. That's that's very nice of you to say that. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, something else popped up on the screen. Uh, trust me, I'm chasing Luke. Luke's got a uh, big channel. I'll never catch him, but when you're chasing the lead rabbit, you're gonna find some other rabbits along the way. So yeah, he's uh, a. Can't feel something popping up. Now, he's been around for a while cranking out good content, so, uh, so yeah. It is what it is with the comments. Uh, what is bad is that I've tried to be one of the channels that responds to everybody uh, and tries to answer questions, and there's other channels where the creators don't ever say anything in the comment section. People type whatever, and they don't ever respond to it. So, But we try to do it here. I uh, try to do it in the community section and then try to uh, do it on Facebook also. What was the comment, Lee? Who put sunscreen on the bottom of their foot? Listen, Lee, you, got, you, you never know where the sun's gonna hit you from. I didn't realize it was on the bottom of your foot, so there you go. That sucks, dude. Uh, yeah, you'll have to hit me up tomorrow and bring me up to speed on that one. That sucks, I didn't know you was having that done. Uh, that doesn't sound like it was fun. I actually had something cut out of my toe probably 25 years ago, I had a thing. I think they sent it off for pathology too. It was a, uh, but it was a little calcified little thing right around my toe. 25 so, years ago. Look, right there. Hang on. No, we don't need to see that. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, we can, 
Let's look. There's. You're here. gonna get demonetized. Look at here. Let's look at this. Let's look at the scars. Right there is a little scar. You can see where they cut it. It was right next to that tendon. <laughs> Who? Who from the fishing world is gonna give you a let's let's do scar story uh, during a live video? So there you go. So but yeah, mine was like a little calcified. It looked like a little pearl. So it was, it was I, have fine. A, I have a scar right here from stitches from barbed wire. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I would have never got stitches in that thing. That was your mother. That was a flesh wound. I only got like, how many, like three? Yeah. I hear, I hear line, I hear line. Get the cameras going, I hear something ripping line. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh crap, that's just, one right there too. No, that's the hung one. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy, I'm scared. He's not hung in the tree, is he? I don't know. If he'll go to that side, let it take him to that side. Okay, I'm pulling him. I heard a line ripping on that sucker. Oh, let me get these crappy rods out of the way. Let's keep playing him. Oh, you might want the net for this one. Uh, yeah, I think I am. That one's bobbing. That one's bobbing. Yeah, but that's the one that's in that tree. That thing may be... Keep, keep working him. Keep working him up. He's coming over this side. Crap, I don't want him on that side. Keep going, just, you're gonna have to play him where he goes. It is what it is. I can't see anything. There you go. Keep playing him. Whatever you do, don't get this line. This is the hung line. As a matter of fact, hang on. Is that out of the way? Right. Yeah, good boy. Acting like a flathead. Get him up to the top if you can, because there's trees down there. That's good. Don't work him too hard, but get him to the top. Of you. Shaking. I know he's shaking. Go ahead and take some line if you can. Keep going. You're, you're, I think he's just. He's going. Do you feel the tree? I mean, do you feel it rubbing on? I think it's a big flathead because he's okay. like, he's like barely moving. Okay. I can, right. I can feel it. Okay, as long as you're just feeling the fish, because I'm seeing it pop. I'm feeling a vibration. You're getting line back. There you go, keep working. Yeah, take a line. All right, yeah, you're not in a tree. Yeah, 
<laughs> oh, that is big. Oh, Jesus. I am shaking. It's a good fish. Oh, my God. The one we was looking for. Oh, I'm shaking right now. Hey. All right, guys, we got the flathead. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. You want to set him back down so I can put some gloves on? Yeah. You don't need gloves. Yeah, I do. Ah, that's a good one. You know how my fingers are. They always. I have little, ten I have tender little, I have, I have little kid fingers. Hang on, guys. We're going to get a weight on him real quick. Thirty-two pounds. Hang on. I told you guys it gets quiet when we catch fish. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We both go into the whole RBF mode. Hang on. Are they in this? Are they right there in that fat corner compartment? I don't know. I don't know where they're at. Let's pick them up with your hand. You'll be fine. He ain't that bad. I'm pretty sure they're over there. On your right hand, so you can control me. Oh. Woohoo! Oh, I, I am gonna hug you. I am gonna hug you. I'll get the camera too. Love you, bud. That's a good thing. Oh, no, thirty-one pounds, not thirty-nine. <laughs> there you go. Turn him sideways. Good. Nice. Nice fish. <laughs> Turn this way a little bit. I'm not tired anymore. That's a good fish. Good fish. See if we get enough for a thumbnail there. Good fish, dude. Well, they don't have fins. You can grab them by the mouth. Well, they got fins. They just don't have sharp ones. Well, that's, yeah, that's what I mean. Let me do this. Let me get a picture with. I don't like Katie. And they have like the best color out of every fish. Yep. Yeah. 
Let me uh, get this. Let me use this camera to get a picture with him. Like it was, like it was a big one too. I knew he's at least in his 30s. It's a good fish day. Let's just check this. So how do catfish stay? Can how do catfish? Do what, what? How do catfish breathe out of water better than any other fish? Uh, probably a gar is better than any of them for breathing out of the water. Yeah, but... Let's see how that shot looks. Hang on. All right, cool. Go ahead and pick him up again. I didn't know, like, because they breathe really long. Right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they'll actually live a pretty good ways. Get him sideways on his side. Control him by his jaw, but pick him up by his back. There you go. Good, good, good. Hold that. Hold on. Hold on. Check another one. Stay there. Hold on. One more photo session. My hand's about to slip. Hold up. Which one's slipping? This one. There you go. My, the mouth is good. You, you get to should see... I get a, should I get a hillbilly one? No, do not do the hillbilly. You get to see a Dieter Melhorn photo session here, guys. I like that way a little bit. Hold on. The inside of that mouth. All right, lift him up again. Five more and we're done. There we go. Hold that, good. And pow, all right, hold on. Oh my, good. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, guys. We're gonna take you along for the live release. Uh, what I'm gonna get you to do is pick him up. You want me to go on the outside? Take him right up here and drop him off into the light. That'll be the easiest thing. There you go. There you go. Going to the depths, baby. Soaked. Oh, that was good. That's what I needed. That is exactly what I Kabam. needed. Kabam. Look at these lights adjusted there. What's crazy is we're still alive, so we can't go kabam in the video right there. There you go, guys. That's, uh... That is, uh... That water is like bath water. It's warm. Holy crap. That's what we were waiting for, man. We got bait all in here now. Nice. Nice. Uh, what a mess. We got stuff all over the place. Daddy, come feel this water. Oh, I felt it. Hey, it's, it's warm. Uh, where was I? Got a regroup here. Whew. We have to change the title of this video, too. Let me turn that camera off. Let's turn that one off. We weren't expecting that. That's a good fish. That one just That was a good too. fish. Uh, the issue was it was right on the edge of some trees, and uh, that's what I was concerned with it getting into. Those, that one line I had to break off. What? Is this the rod? No. Yeah. That's the rod I caught it with. That's the one you caught it with. So here you I go. I think he might have sat. I, a, I think he might have got to a tree and sat there, and then I think I just pulled him out of it. That's the piece of bait it came on, guys. That is a six alt hooker's terminal, terminal tackle circle hook. And there's the piece of bait it came on. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that they'll hit small bait. It also means that they'll hit cut bait. Also means they love crappie light off of that there it is yeah so anyway dude that was awesome that was fun we got to do that live at one o'clock in the morning so kabam kabam i'm gonna plant this one back out there it's gonna be one of them deals where everything's gonna start biting now one o'clock what's there to lose at this point yeah, i'm gonna sit here another hour <laughs> for real really mm -hmm. Just for the heck of it. So we've got 112 people watching this at one in the morning. 
It's pretty amazing, really. I mean, it, it, it's pretty amazing. There's that many people up watching it. Panfish is gone. That one's going to have to be retied. This one we can put back out. I thought we were going to head out after that. It's usually what we do at night fishing. <laughs> we catch oh, no, one no, big one at least. I'm not tired anymore. I'm like up and... Well, at least sit here. See if we can catch a couple more crappie. And entertain you guys at 106 in the morning. Isn't that great? I got slime all over me. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Gotta sleep on the water at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Dang, who's ever up right now uh, and you're going fishing at 6 in the morning, uh, thank you for watching. That is uh, very kind of you to stay up and watch this late at night if you're getting up that early. So. Alabama! Whoever you are, yeah, Bent Road got, yeah, you, you're oh my guy. I am an Alabama fan. Grayson, Thank you for Grayson the Grayson loves congrats. Alabama. Oh, yeah, I'm a hardcore fan. Hey, listen, there's nothing wrong with loving the number two team in the country. Shut up. <laughs> Haters gonna hate, 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 hate. Nothing wrong with being number two. You know what I'm saying? That's, you can't, there's only one number one. Somebody's gotta be number two, three, and four. I will show you up. In tennis. Uh, 19. If I wanted to one you in football, I think I'd beat you. Because I got the speed. Yeah, you probably do. Just don't let me sack you. That's all I can do. Dang, still. still hey, I'm putting some perch rods back in the water, so bear with me. Still over 100 people watching. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's uh, interesting. We hadn't forgot you. I'm just uh, getting everything re-put back into the water. I'm sure we're about the only people out here right now. Ain't much. Well, except for the drunk people. That's about it. Oh, I mean the... Uh, the I... Not, um... What the heck? Okay. Not what I just said, not the D word, the, the, the very hydrated people. If you know what I mean, the hydrated people be drinking too much water. I have a dumb question. What? This thing, there we go. Oh, right, it's up there. I was gonna say, did we lose a fish or not? <clears throat> Here it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. Almost done, Roll people. Pass. Almost getting my stuff back in the water. Oh. You know, I take another one of those. Those flatties. I got slime all over my crocs. I officially get to say these crocs have gone fishing. Who's drunk now? I mean, who's hydrated now? Ew, orange and purple. You know, those those colors don't really, like, go together. They're kind of an odd color to be with. It's the color of victory. <sighs> Keeps rubbing it in my face, but don't worry when Alabama comes back. We'll see who's the bigger man in the end. <sighs> who's going to be bragging the most? There you go. Keep an eye on them, Ross. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry. Uh, it's, uh, that was crazy. Thanks for hanging around. Uh, dude, that was... That one, that one had me worried being that close to that tree. That is uh, a bigger flathead than catfish and carp has ever caught live. It is. It is a, I'm trying to think what other kind of record we can okay, make up. up. Now, what, what kind of record can we danger. make up? I can agree with you for NC Tar Heel. I like the Tar Heels. And basketball. Basketball. They're, they're getting messy. <laughs> Of course, I like Duke. Duke made me a lot of money last year. So, there we go. So there's any other questions here and here. Uh, 
Oh, I get attacked. Oh, it's turned into a football conversation here. That looks great. You know, maybe we should talk about the NFL now. Anyway, the deal on that fish, in case you missed it, uh, 31 pounds out of the net. That was not a net weight, that was out of the net. And uh, that's a good fish, dude. That's uh, kind of what we was hoping to get tonight. I uh, I hate just catching one. We all want to catch a bunch of them, but uh, if you're gonna catch one good fish, that's a good one to catch. So that was, that was, that made you nine. Matter of fact, I got to enter a waypoint on here for that one. That was a good, good, good fish. And I'm glad y'all got to see it too. That's the best part. Watching the tide roll. Okay. That's a good one. That, that was a good one. I like I like that. Watching the tide roll away. That was a good one. Watching the tide roll. Sitting on the dock of the bay. But what we used to film Wasting is... time. We Sorry. use either this camera or the GoPros. I got GoPros on here. Everybody asks what I use, uh, I say everybody, people ask what I use for a mic. I get my audio off of this camera because uh, I always run a chesty cam. You know what, let's not sit that there because that is going to fall. Um, I run this chesty cam just for a little different POV shot. And uh, right back I actually got the uh, idea from one of Grayson's YouTube idols, likes, whatever, John B. He's got a big oh, yeah. channel and uh, he runs a chesty camera bunch and i didn't like it at first i don't know it kind of annoyed me having it on but uh with me it works fine it's a very good just a different perspective on seeing stuff and a lot of this content uh people like watching fishing uh and i know that sounds stupid of course you like watching fishing you're watching the fishing channel and watch that rug because it may be getting ready to get popped i forgot we were uh, fishing but which one, red or black? That for it should have got hit by now. I thought there was something moving on that a little bit, but uh, people will watch stuff for a long time. Uh, I've been amazed at how long y'all will watch some of the longer videos I put out, and uh, I think this is a little different niche than some of the other ones out there uh, on YouTube. So my point being is having a little variety and that shots and stuff uh, are is good what was that about the cases yeah do you have the open back on your case yeah i'll show you actually sit this over there out of the way i have on this case show you what i do i've actually got it on here there's the chesty cam the back's open what i've got there is a, a towel across the back of it and you're probably wondering i don't need it on there right now i actually use this as a wind sock to cut down on the wind because the back is open and I use this as a wind sock to basically cut down on the wind noise that you hear that gets very annoying. Uh, I've said before, you can stand wind noise for a second. You can stand it for a couple seconds, but you get about three or four sentences of shh, shh and people are gonna start watching something else. So, uh, so yeah, I got the backs open on both of them and then I just sync the audio or sync the video up in post. So nice there we go. bullhead have the hero three plus silver yeah these are hero fours uh they work fine sure uh, i want to get a hero seven just because of the stabilization and all that but honestly uh if you're just starting out or trying it anybody that's wanting to video their stuff dude i shot my first i don't know how many videos some like hero twos i mean there were some like old old ones. i think the hero two was the best one i think i had the original one so so yeah they'll work i hear drunk people hydrated people hydrated people <laughs> do you want to get demonetized? Uh, time to come down to North Carolina and do some fishing with you. Have family in Thomasville. Okay, cool. That's right up there. There's a fish on that. Crappie on that one. Just pick it up. He's on there. Oh, no, he's not there. Like... Ah! Oh, no. Oh, oh. My... Oh, that was a whole sandwich. That was a whole sandwich crappie there. My heart oh. just sank. Oh. My heart, like, literally exploded. Like, it just... Oh. Uh, get, Crappy get that fishing one. sucks. No, uh, you gotta... You can't play with them over the I side know, of I the tried. boat. I I tried to get them over, and then they went and bait it up again. That was a good one, dude. That was huge. What? 
What about me? That's huge. Huge crappie. Two pounds. That's the running joke on Wiley. Anytime somebody catches a crappie, it gets, oh, they was all two pounders. This has to potentially end badly. They're going like a mile. Hardly a mile per hour. Go ahead and uh, yeah, put a another piece of meat on that one. <sighs> I'm just now coming down off the adrenaline off that fish. I don't know if y'all could. I, I'm going to have to go back and look at the video because it would have been this rod right here. And I'm curious because we heard it. We heard it way before we seen it. So I got to go back and look at the video to see what that looks like. So this is a great question. I looked back. This is a great question. My wife asks me this sometimes. Is fishing your full-time gig? No, it's not actually. Uh, it's, uh, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome if it was. Uh, it's the, uh, I fish a pretty good bit, uh, but I still got, you know, family and a real job. I do video production in the real world. So at least it's, somewhat similar in that it's video but uh no i don't do it full time uh might be cool but i don't think it would be it's a lot of work i mean the biggest way to make money in fishing is to be a guide so that's a lot of work dude and uh i don't know i'd like to keep going with this little mix of uh the youtube stuff some guiding and uh yeah some other stuff so you know, do this, and it may help you the next time. Is take that, or actually, I'll grab it. Take the, I was gonna say, take that camera pole and just move it so that. Hang on a second. We got, hyd yeah. we got really hydrated people behind us. I just got pumped. There you go. Yes, sit that over on that side. When we go, when we go on saltwater fishing, oh, yeah. you can get the waterproof case. Yeah, I got the waterproof factor. Oh, this is the other camera I got. It's on a pole. It's on, and I got vertical rod holders on the side of the boat, and I'm able to put this in it and fish. Yeah, you got one. Perch, perch, perch. perch, perch. Get over there. There we go. Here, flip him over here. <laughs> Put this into this holder. Boom! Perchylicious. Beep. There you go. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, we're having to beep out the uh, audio. Open up that uh, thing there. We have some. We got some. We're gonna have some fish to clean tomorrow. Go ahead and bait it back up. Let's see if we can catch a few more before we drunk people. Drunk people. Hopefully y'all can't hear that music so I don't get demonetized. Uh. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, ooh, uh, Not to mention there's a whole uh, lot of vulgarities and all of it. Oh, see yeah. if there's any other questions here. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah, David, that was a uh, that was a good, 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 good bite. When you can hear it before you know it's there. That's a nice fish to be in there. Sorry, adjusting my rod holder or my camera holder here. It's amazing there's this many of you folks still in there. That's awesome. What rod holder angle do you prefer for circle hooks? Honestly, uh, I ain't gonna say the steeper the better because sometimes wind kind of aggravates me on it. But fairly steep. I don't, if you're fishing, straight under the boat you can have them like that uh but i think there's 60 degrees on here 60 or 30 60 i think is no 30 30 god i'm horrible with this it's the in the monster rod holders i'll show you i use the monster rod holders and i put mine into here so i think that's the 30 i think if you go to this bar it's the 60 so that one's good that one getting bit wait 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 wait, wait. nope uh, I go to this one right here, so I think that's digging into the mud there. So the uh, that's one thing with the circle hook. I've had some people ask me recently. I said about Colt 45. I do have a Colt 45 right back here, but it's it's like got 
two magazines with it. That's the kind you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a song, Colt 45. Oh, okay, sorry. I, it's, it's a rap song that you've probably never heard. I probably haven't, yeah. The Colt 45, I know, is the uh, handgun with two magazines I got laying back here. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, those monsters are always sold out. Order Driftmaster Pros. That's funny. I, it, that's amazing Steve sold out of them. Uh, that's too bad because they're good rod holders. I like them. I like because we can literally, I can get three positions out of them uh, as far as, you know, fishing. If, you know, I'm running rod straight under the boat and stuff. So, anyway, they're good holders, good rod holders. Yep, he Sorry he's out of them. Uh, but I guess that's a sign of prosperity and things going good so did you catch any fish yet tyrell i i hope you're kidding and i hope you didn't miss it because uh if you did you're gonna need, gonna need to scroll back what 15 minutes grayson caught a slob no kidding uh no jokes it'll probably be the thumbnail for this thing tomorrow once i redo it so what light is that you're using pointed at the water that's actually one of the one of my lights from my real job in the TV world. It's a Draycast. Uh, it's a uh, LED and variable power, and uh, it's not made for fishing, and probably way more money than anybody's going to want to spend to have it. Uh, but it's uh, pretty cool. I uh, took a bracket that we use for production work and mounted it onto the rail, and it works good. It's battery powered, so I can run it on a battery, which really, really. Uh, and the batteries are like last all along. Yeah, they'll they'll run for a long time, and uh, I've got a small generator when we used to striper fish and stuff like that. Uh, we'd bring a generator, then we'd have these big sodium vapor lights, and you had this generator to deal with. It was a constant noise, and uh, this is a lot easier. Somebody said, "How am I keeping the mosquitoes at bay?" I don't know. I don't know how. Knock on, jinx it. knock on wood. I'm not. I don't know how we've gotten so lucky, but the bugs have There's not wood. been bad out here. Uh, I know they spray this lake, but uh, still, the mosquitoes have not been an issue. There's the wood right there. Yeah, the mayflies have not been an issue. So yeah, we've been pretty lucky out here with this stuff. How long are you going to be on here tonight, uh, Amy? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna give it a little while longer. I, that's that's my nebulous term for as soon as we don't catch any more fish or I start to ramble and speak in tongues because I'm about to fall asleep. But let's we're gonna stay a few more. I know this is the longest live stream I've ever done. You look how long we've been on here now. Two hours. Two hours. That's insane. So, but I figured what the heck. Uh, we caught some fish and. Y'all have kept it interesting. I'm amazed that even on the West Coast, it's getting late. I'm amazed that people are still up. If you've, if you've been here the whole two hours, be honest. And, and yeah, throw, a, throw a, a, has anybody watched this entire thing? If you have, put a give it a thumbs up. up. I don't think there's, I don't think. And be honest. I don't be think honest. there'll be, but maybe one or one or two people, because that's a long, up oh, right there. That's a long, he's probably on there. You know, some of these are like hitting and coming up and taking off to the side with it. Eric's been on it the whole time. Very cold. That's unreal. Um, I know sometimes when I've watched people's live feeds, they've been, uh, I've been on here watching the whole time. Is that Amy England? That's very cool. Y'all uh, are either bored or uh, you need some background noise going on in your life. Because that's what I do. I've, I've sat and watched feeds before people fishing, not catching a fish, and see there? It's almost this anticipation of you're waiting for it to happen, and it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. It's a little more fun when you catch a few fish every now and then. It's kind of why I decided to do this crappie fishing thing tonight in that, you know, you can kind of stumble on and catch a few fish while you're waiting on a monster like that big one we got a minute ago. So. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Are they hitting it as soon as they hit the bottom? She's my cherry pie. Who sang that? That's what we're hearing on the boat. Who sang that? Real quick. Real quick. First person to get it. Gets a free cookie. Gets a cookie. <laughs> She's 
my cherry pie. I know Grayson has no clue who it is. Hey, Grayson. Uh, warrant. Very good. Uh, flip the... Uh, I just killed the live I'll just turn it off. I want to see Grayson get a good one, and it paid off. Yeah, Mike. Uh, that was a good fish, dude. That was a... Uh, that one had me nervous because of the tree that's right out there. And we, you saw me reel on the one rod and break it off. Uh, I think I pulled it out of the tree. I think it I went there it. and sat there. And yeah. That's why it, that's why it got stuck for a second. I think I had to pull it out. Because it was coming out of it. And, it, and anyway, I got it out. I broke it off just because that's the last thing you want, guys. If you've got a line out there. Well, one thing is first, if you get a fish into another line, it's just like this magic little fingers come down there and take the hook out of their mouth at the same time. Uh, but when you get a fish into a line that is snagged or hung on something and has some resistance, it really does some miracles for popping hooks loose and stuff. So uh, that fish was hooked pretty good. That was not a super huge hook on it. Uh, that was a six salt uh, hooker terminal tackle circle hook and uh, it did the job. The thing with most of those hooks is, is that uh, uh, they're big enough when they get to the corner of the mouth, they'll hook any fish. Somebody was asking uh, two questions, asking about the hook size and Akuma reels. I've not used any Akuma reels. The ones that I have on the boat are Abu Garcia 6500s. I got two of those. Uh, I've got two Ancient Mariner reels and two Lose reels. Now I've got a bunch of Abu Garcias at home. That's just what I got on the boat today. And uh, I have not really dealt with any other reels. I wouldn't mind doing it at some point. I may reach out to some of those people and see, because that's what happened with the Luz. They gave me two reels to try out and to use and see if I could break and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, I wouldn't mind trying them just to see, as long as you know a decent size as far as not too big and that kind of thing. Because I really don't need super huge reels uh, to, to fish the way we do. Somebody was asking about hooks. I usually run eight alts or 10 alts if i have some usually have to get owners to do that uh for the big big baits and then usually five or six alt for the, the smaller baits and they work fine i the funny thing is i end up catching some really really big fish on some of them smaller hooks and they'll do it so uh se deer addict is uh one of the i use i've got everything on the boat right now for catfish is a uh, big cat fever medium action it's their I gotta retie this rig, by the way. It's their uh, medium action rod. There it is there. Uh, the white ones that I complained about for years because all their rods were black and they finally made these. Here's one of the reels. It's one of the uh, loose reels. Sorry about the light in here. It's a little bit hot spotting. And then 30 pound Andy Monster Line. And uh, what was that noise? That water going out of the live well? Okay. Sorry. They I heard, should, they I should heard. make white rods that are like the black ones that are like heavy action. They do make them. They do make them. I just went with the medium. And as Grayson brings up a good point, these are medium action rods. Um, for me, fishing mainly lakes and reservoirs, uh, I use the medium action and I think they are fun. Boom. Ow. Easy trigger. Grayson about to fall in the lake here. To, trying to redeem himself on the crappie. I really I don't, don't tell me you lost that one. Wow, that's just wow. It's, it's the bucket's fault. <laughs> <laughs> the bucket, I about, Talking I, about kicking the bucket, Grayson literally kicked the bucket just then. Uh, go ahead and bait it up and drop it back in. Check that other one too, let's make sure that's good. I uh, hurt because I like kicked it. Yeah, slide my... it out of the way so you don't kill yourself there, pal. I mean, uh, I poor thing. But yeah, those are the uh, those are the rods that I use. They uh, they work good. So they got heavier ones, but uh, there's a lot of good rods out there. These are just uh, some people I partnered with, and uh, they're good. I like them. They're uh, the heavier action stuff is you know if I'm fishing any like in Tennessee or stuff, doing any river current stuff with some heavier weight, and they make some heavy actions, but I don't even have. Uh, it would uh, I'd have to be going to some big water, big lead kind of place to deal with that kind of stuff. So, uh, let's see here. Spinning rods. Uh, are you talking about the, I just saw that second ago, you're talking about the spinning rods. If we're talking about the spinning rods, I use their B&M rods. Uh, some of their crappy rods, crappie rods. It's crappy. the, 
Sam's super sensitive graphite rod. Uh, I'm going to be using some more of their stuff and trying it out. And uh, it's uh, they're good rods. The uh, thing is, as I'm doing more and more crappie fishing, uh, I can see why crappie fishermen like their rods, uh, especially on some of these less than uh, less than enthusiastic enthusiastic bites. So. The, uh, let's see, Christopher Rods one on Catfish Weekly. Oh, that's cool. A little bit of Lyle and the uh, Catfish Weekly. How much, SC Derek, how much are the Akuma reels? I'm curious, because uh, that's the thing, that's the reason I've got some of these Ancient Mariners and the Lou's on here, because I was trying to do some stuff to get, uh, just try out some cheaper, less expensive, because the Abu Garcia's are not cheap. I've got some on my, uh, website and you know they're not cheap and if you get like the catfish edition with the little catfish on the side of it uh, it's even more money they're pretty high so that's what I was trying to do so uh, you know you know how easy it would be if someone tried to come out here and rob us what easy for me to kill them <laughs> You know what a horrible mistake it would be if somebody tried to rob me and I go, yeah, let me get my wallet here out of the uh, out of the storage sitting container. In, sitting in the yeah, lake. So that would not. Yeah. Takes one of your rods, throws it, throws it in. So here's I'll the, take more. So here's the question: If we were getting robbed and I had to shoot somebody and we hooked a big giant flathead, okay? I'd keep real my flathead. No, that wasn't the question. Would we try to get it in the, with the net or with the bug of grip? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I, I digress. <laughs> it's a joke. Somebody gets the joke. Somebody, please, please. I may have seven to go to work. Matthew, thanks for watching this late, dude. I uh, appreciate you hanging out with us. This has been fun. This has been a... Uh, this has been a crazy one. Appreciate you hanging around this late. There's an amazing crowd for us here on the East Coast. It's 1.30 in the morning. So I know for some of y'all, it's it's a little more, it's getting 90 night bedtime. But uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all hanging around this late. This is pretty cool. If we were out being robbed, cut bait. There you go. Hear that song? What's that? Oh, God. That, what is that noise? No, I uh, hear I thought I heard something else making a noise. Huh. Might have been water getting sucked out of the thing, Baker. Hey, we're out here all alone. There's just wood right in front of us. And we can't see in front of us because of this light. Yeah, it's dark, dark, dark. It's dark. There is no. Yeah, we're on a dark, dark, dark moon. It's amazing we haven't caught more flatheads or just more blues. I don't know what the blues are doing. I got a feeling. Those blues have packed up and headed south down the lake. There's just a lot of stuff not in here right now. I'm okay with not catching blues. They're annoying. Wait, well, hold up, hold up. Who said that? It's Bigfoot. Could be a squatch. We could have a squatch up there in the woods. <laughs> How deep are we? We are sitting in 20 feet of water, but um, we're... Well, they're only 10 feet, so they... Did you hear that? Yeah. Sasquatch. Is that the live well bubbling? I don't know. Whatever the heck it was, was that one of these rods? Make sure, I mean, hit them with a... Uh, that... That line looks like it that went that That line looks way. like it's going off that way. Hang on, we may be... Hold on. I might have casted that one to clear that tree. If there's not anything on it, just... Let it lay back down. Yeah, go ahead and reel it up and check. That seems like it's way, way, way off the one side. Listen, son. Listen. I caught a crappie while Grayson went out. I, I pulled a head fake on him. I said, go check that rod. There might be a big fish on it. And guess what? There was a crappie over here moving. I caught the crappie. Ooh, got the head fake on him. Look at there. Terrible. That's terrible. Actually, I didn't know that crappie was on there. I just saw the line. That one there, is that one still got bait? 
Let me move some lines around here. Bear with me. Mess of them, son. That's pretty good. Let's see what that looks like. Let me get it back there. Where's this? Yeah. Hmm? Reposition and baits, folks. You can't see in front. I know, it's dark as doo doo out here. So depressing. I'm putting this one straight in the middle of that tree. This is gonna be go big or go home. Why? Why are you putting it in the tree? Yeah, it's, gonna, it's right going to be at that tree. It's going to be go big or go home. You're trying to catch a flatty, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm going to check this one rod here. Coolest knife ever invented. Even though I know they have tons like this. But I like how it flips. And I just got that on it. Well, these baits are clean as a whistle. Nothing touched them. <laughs> My personal best catfish. Well, that was on watery at, what was it? New Year's Day, and that uh, was, I don't know, about four, five years ago. Maybe a 60 pound blue cat on watery. Good fish, too. Shallow. Very shallow. Yeah. Five was... feet of water shallow. It was that shallow? Yeah. Dang. I didn't yeah. know it was that shallow. That's why the fish went eight dookie when they got near the boat. Didn't have nowhere to go. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? You've got 86 likes already. See, a year ago, you would have been going crazy because you got 97 people and 86 likes. My personal best. You know what? This light two. is dead. Yeah. This battery finally died. Let me get one out from under our seat here. Well, as we were talking about that battery, it's now dead. Well, good God, that thing's been going for four hours. I am. Sit back. Let me reposition one more rod. I'm going to park a couple of the two of these on the bank since we're not getting hit deep. Mm. Hang in there, folks. I'm just repositioning rods. See it. We'll give it about 30 more minutes and what was the store that we went to yesterday to get those buckets? Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. All right. If all, if any of you, if any of y'all need like a Rambo knife that's about maybe about this big or probably bigger, I don't know. For nine dollars, go to Rambo knife at Harbor. Freight. Go to Harbor Freight. They've got a. They've got. So nice. They've got a lot of nice stuff, and it's not that much. It's pretty fair price. We got five buckets for how much? Like two bucks a piece. Two bucks a piece. So yeah. As Jeff Manning says, if you want tools that you don't really care about, it's a great place to go. Someone asked a question. How deep is your is okay? We were fishing in 19, about 20 feet of 20 feet of water. Was there? What was there? Bryson's checking out the question. What? I'm so confused. 
Was there today that knife is huge? Huh? What? Question mark? Was there today that... Oh, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, okay. I think it took me a second, okay. You were there today, you saw the knife, yeah. It's a pretty big knife for $9. It's like a Rambo knife. I know, it's it's really nice. I I want it. But if I get it, my mom's gonna be like, put that away. I think I need to move that light around a little. It's too much. There we go. Alright. Hold up. Alright, we're settled in for the last. I'm trying to fix up the lighting situation. Nope, that don't go well. Might have to turn it a little. I'm back. If you can. The fog is lifted. The earth is shifted. There we go. Cool. Now the light looks. Easy there, sleepy head. <laughs> it looks a bit better. I think we could have caught. I think we could have caught a lot more crappie out here tonight, had we focused on chest fishing for them. But we kind of did a little smorgasbord here of. Uh, Man, we still got 96 people in here. That's unreal. That's crazy. And it's almost 10 in the morning. Yeah, we'll give it. We're going to give it till 2 o'clock. So if anybody is trying to figure out whether you're going to stay up or not, uh, we're going to give it till 2 o'clock. And it will be a long, it will by far the longest live stream I've ever done in my entire life. Catch a catfish for me, Terry. I'd like to put one more in the boat. What I did was we had stuff on this river ledge where it drops off. There's a tree laying out here. And... We had stuff on that, but I just repositioned two of the rods and put them right up on the bank. So I probably should have done that early on to begin with. Uh, Mayfly. But uh, I didn't. So another 25 minutes here and then pull, call it a day. So. Uh, that's how I guess we. It's a good little crowd of people. Somebody was somebody was asking earlier about watery the fishing down there. I haven't been. There's stuff in the edge of that light already. I haven't been recently. I got a feeling it's probably like Wiley. There's gonna be. Uh, it seems like everything's starting to grab. Man, they're flipping all on the edge of that light. There, it's like stuff is starting to gravitate deep down here, and uh, especially if you can find uh, an area that doesn't have thermocline setup in it i think you got a good chance of catching some fish so my guess on water would be singleton creek south so uh so yeah it's uh that would be where my guess is i'm down there if i was fishing hoping to get down there in the next couple of weeks so That was weird. That was weird. I had my head turned sideways and the boat was moving and it looked like the lights were. Sorry. When you start getting uh, hypoxic out here from no sleep, you start seeing all kinds of weird stuff. Oh, you think you've hardly gotten any sleep? I, yeah, I, I gotta wake give, up at 6 every day. I got to give and Grayson so. credit. He, We had to get up early this morning. I got him up around 6 to go to the hunt club. And every other day to go to tennis camp. And he's been up the entire day. He did not take a nap like I did. And... You're knocking on the door. You're on a 20-hour day at this point, so I'm I'm pretty impressed. So. I'm sure I've. I, you gotta think I've been staying up until like 12, waking. I've been getting about six hours of sleep each day this yeah. this whole week. So okay. now I'm about to get about maybe another six hours because I'm gonna well, wake up at like. Eight. We're gonna sleep in in the morning. Oh no, to. I wake up at. I don't. I'm gonna wake up at around eight o'clock. Or I said, you... If, I, if I'm super tired, I'll wake up at like 10 o'clock. That's very true, Mike Hallmark. I see what you wrote there. That's very true. Very good words said there. Poor crit looks tired after that monster fish. Uh, no, well, I'll crappy, 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 crappy. 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 Oh, 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 hold on, 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 and go back. There we go. Not, wait, what? Is that a, what? It's a largemouth. Easy. 
<laughs> I just caught a bass. Listen here, leprechaun. Where's that other hook at? Oh, it's up there. The other oh, okay. hook. Okay. Right there. Hey, you should take a picture and send it to Justin. Hey, I caught the larger. I wanna, I wanna lip him. Yeah. I don't ever get the. <laughs> Normally, that would become bait. I'm gonna let it go, but Grace and Kitchen. There you go. Hold it. Grab him because he'll go to flailing. I know. There you go. Take a picture. We gotta show. I gotta show it to Justin. What does Justin like bass or something? Just um, the guitar. Oh, your guitar teacher. How much do you think this weighs? Uh, two pounds. Hang on, let me get my. Right, set up. Hold up there. Hold in my horizontal. There you go. Hold on. One more. You got a good one. Go. Ow, I just hit my ankle See you on the sink. Boom. Oh, I just got fish crap on my hand. That'll happen sometimes. There you go. Just watch it off in the live well back here. Crap. <sighs> Look, smell it. It's not, it's, got, it, it's not that bad. It smells like shad. No, smell it. It smells like dirt. Nah, yeah, it does smell like dirt. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm scared because they were. <laughs> They were like right on the top. I <laughs> opened it and it scared the crap out of me. Do you think the crappy were coming up to eat you or something? <sighs> so we've had a good little smattering of fish now. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, he did just smell it, Sean. Uh, we kind of, we kind of, we kind of rednecks. We kind of do stupid stuff like that. <laughs> Here, smell it. See what it smells like. Uh, yeah, is there a fish laying on top of the drain? I hear water trickling out. Yeah, you might want to turn it off. It's probably... I'll just turn on the bilge for a second. Uh, scared the crap out of the bass, too, yeah. Right right Catch him up. Uh, you need more moderators. Usually, uh, Lyle does a good job of... Uh, uh, dealing with people so head saying I need to go back somewhere. Uh, 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 Poof What happened? Poof Wait what did you do now? What's the bill still on? Is it still dripping water? Put a bait in the water. I am. Oh, you got yourself hooked. Got Lovely. What what did someone say this time? What did he say? What did he say? I couldn't read it. I just said there's anything else in there. Cool. Wait, what did he say about me? Did he say I don't eat much fish? Because if he said that, I'm going to call a bunch of bullcrap. Puff. Go. There we go. All right. What, uh, how much time we got? 15 minutes left? Well, we just caught a large mouth, so you always add 10 minutes. That's only once the 10 minute rule is in effect. The 10 minute rule is not in effect yet. So we're running out of time. Guys, you've got 15 minutes to see the magic happen. So. And it's the Every fish up in the South Fork past the hot hole. David, we went up and fished up there. Uh, and dude, we. I think we caught one little fish. Uh, there was a bunch of small, small bait, but for some reason I wasn't marking any fish up there. So, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what the deal is. Stuff's all over the place right now. Uh, it's. Uh, it's just. It's. It's. You find some fish somewhere, and 
then a couple of days later you go back and they move so that's typical for this time of the year so there we go uh hunting and fishing with george is asking are you moving or setting i'm anchored up we've been anchored up this entire 149 minutes so it's been uh uh yeah, we've been plopped in one place. It's easier to manage uh, the live streams when I'm anchored up. It's just I don't have to deal with the boat and drifting and dragging and all that kind of stuff. So it just makes it easier. Luckily, the other reason is it was very nice to uh, sit still and try to catch some crappie while we were waiting on a big fish to come along. So somebody just asked about down toward Allison. I have not been down there in a few weeks. <clears throat> if I get a wild hair, is that thing still? Okay, it's just stopped. If I get a wild hair and go fishing tomorrow, that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the lower end and mess around down there. One of the videos I put up, I think it was this week, was shot down there a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, it was still kind of spotty on the fish and it was still kind of hit or miss. So we're just into that. We're into that tough time right now. Ah, my phone. That scared me. <laughs> Good job. Um, I think that's it. It's all right. We're still here. Ooh. Phone fell. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Uh, orientation is locked. Sorry about that. Why is my phone slipping out of the thingy? It's always been very good about that. Sorry. Hopefully, Easy. hopefully nobody fell out of their chair at home. <laughs> that was hilarious. Grab another sun drop. We got time for one more sun drop before we go. Hey, did you unspool any reels tonight? No, I did not. Uh, for any of y'all that are wondering what he's talking about there, the other night when I did my live stream, I was uh, trolling and. Uh, when I put out baits, I cast the line out, let line go off, and knock it into gear, you know, a few seconds later. And uh, so I get out, stagger my lines out. <clears throat> because I was doing the live feed, I wasn't paying attention, forgot. The reel's not in gear, and next thing you know, I'm down to the knot on the reel and had to crank in every bit. Of it. Just put those cans back in the cooler, and I'll get them out of there get back with my trash cans about full in the back so yeah that was uh that was a lot of stuff what kind of rod holders are you using uh was that sc mat 1776 these are monster rod holders uh these are a um they're the regular monster rod holders that steve douglas makes but they he did a special dip on these uh Sadly, he doesn't sell them anymore, and he should, because I have tons of people that want the red, white, and blue rod monster rod holders, and apparently I'm the only person in the country that has them. Uh, I think they look really cool, and I think he could, he says they're hard to do because of the three different colors, and but I think people would pay more money to get them just because of that, just because they're cool. So, Wait, anyway. so we're the only people in the world that have the red, white, and blue Yes, ones? yes. Oh, at least I'm, hey, we're the only people in the world to have something. Exactly. That's... And I'm the only person in the world to have you, which is wonderful. I'm the only person in the world that <laughs> Careless. can Careless, I'm trying to this. be nice. So, exactly. Special rod holders. So. Yeah. Special rod holder. Well, guys, we may have to. I'm going to give it five more minutes because I just got the warning that my phone was about to die. So, uh, what part of Wiley am I on? I am near Catawba Creek, if you know where that's at, basically the Seven Oaks area. So, uh, what was that? I cannot believe. It's, make sure I read the name right. Amy England. Why in God's name, Amy, are you watching this entire thing? You're addicted. You're addicted to fishing i appreciate you watching uh it's cool to have a hardcore fan now amy are you do you fish are you and and, and i only ask that i know it's, you think god look at those fish flipping that stuff is something's coming up and hitting them was that one just died i'm curious if you fish because believe it or not there are some people that will watch this feed that really don't fish i it's it's actually true so uh so i am kind of curious 
Paper you're avoiding all the drunks. We're actually anchored near the bank, uh, SC Matt. So, uh, the hydrate. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I don't want you You're to fishing. get demonetized. Joe Jones, what works. depth do I recommend, recommend fishing? Uh, I would be, God, look at the stuff flipping out there. There's probably a bass. There's got to be something. Under. I'm going to see if y'all can see this. I'm going to try turning the camera yeah, to. You see those little flickers out there? No, don't hit the light on it. See those little flickers? That is shad flipping in the edge of that light. They're not doing anything right up here on it. They were up on here earlier. There's tiny ones in here. But there's stuff popping all out there. It's crazy. What if you put one of the baits out there? It might not be a bad idea to freeline one over there, but I do. I don't have one that's ready to freeline. Keep this back in the holder. So, kill that. You could pitch one over there a little bit deeper if you wanted to. That's what, I'm what you're seeing there, David, was actually shad. It's a bunch of small shad and they're just popping on top of the water. Uh, and I'm not seeing anything popping, pushing them up to the top. So, they're just in the fringe of the light. Yeah, just kind of pitch out just a little bit. There you go. Let it go down and see if they, I don't know if anything's driving them to the top or not. So, uh, what was somebody asking a minute ago? I was getting ready to answer it. Uh, but, but I was going to let him miss anything. Uh, uh, and somebody was asking, uh, about, uh, boats and that kind of stuff. We're kind of near the bank, so uh, we're kind of out of the main drag of where all the boat traffic is, so it's uh, relatively safe over here. As safe as it can be, but I also carry a spotlight that if people start to get really, really close, I hit them with the spotlight, or if they're looking like they're not paying attention, I'll hit them with the spotlight and light their world up. If they, so, if they look hydrated. Yeah, they're, what's that? I can't tell if that's a fish or if it's boat. I may be boat weight moving around there. So, uh, water depth is what you were answering. Yeah, I'm sitting in 20 feet of water, and let me show you on here what it, what all we've got laid up underneath us. So uh, but it's kind of dropping off into some deep water, and we can. I could literally hit the bank from where I'm at, so I'm just right on an edge. So. Uh, Let's see here. Let's go to this. Boom, boom. Give it a little more. Uh, what's your battery at? It's, uh, it's getting ready to die. The phone's getting ready to die. That's what we're looking at on the sonar. Kind of where we're sitting at here. You can tell there's a lot of this micro bait in here. This is stuff probably this year's hatch. That's what we're seeing coming up. And occasionally you're getting a few fish feeding underneath it. This stuff is coming in. So I got it on auto sensitivity. What I'm going to do is run this up to invert this. And you can see there are actually some fishable fish here underneath this stuff. I don't know if those are perch or crappie or both. Uh, but some stuff there. It's probably the same fish there that you're seeing on the cycle moving around. So. That's kind of what's going on with that stuff. If you're wondering why I do this, sometimes when you're in auto sensitivity, it will sometimes make it a little bit too weak to punch through all the stuff. Get out of that. Bam. Get that back to that. All that back down. There's some fish there. There's a fish there right underneath it feeding. So it's kind of what we're looking at. I was hoping to get one more before we have to go. What a crazy, crazy night. Do many people bow fish wily? Yeah, they'll bow fish it during certain times of the year. Uh, they're, uh, it is what it is. You know, they're they're out here some. I didn't see any. I thought I seen one, but there, ooh, that's, is that a crappie? He ate like it was. But, uh, Look at that face. Look at that face. 
You know what that face looks like? Y'all know what that looks like, guys? I swear, if you mention Alabama... I was going to say, that looks like the uh, offensive line on Alabama back in January. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I still that's have terrible. a weight on this. Oh, right no, here. that's terrible. That's... I've never met the deer. I don't think that, I That's terrible. That's terrible. That's a mean thing to say. I love my son. I'm a, okay. I love my son. You keep bragging about I it. I just had to get him back because they've won too many national championships. So. See, I'm, I'm going to get you back. When Alabama wins, I'm going to be bragging 24 7. Ooh, that's the face of Clemson when uh. they lost the national championship. Yeah, man, I got mixed emotions on the bow fishing thing. Uh, the thing I don't get about bow fishing I've never understood is it seems like the real skill and art would come in shooting little fish, not big ones, because uh, I, uh, as a bow hunter, I know it's a lot harder to hit an easy tar a small target than it is a big target. It's a lot harder to hit a small target than it is a big target. But yeah, I don't know. I, it's the for me. I know it's legal. And I know most of the people that are killing them are killing gar and carp and other stuff they call trash fish. But I just I have a hard time killing fish for no reason. I have a hard time killing fish, anything, and throwing them in a ditch or using them in the garden or That's something like, like that. That's like impossible. Unless it has like uh, rabies or some sort of disease. Yeah, I just I it's, it's just hard for me to do, but. You know, I don't know. It is what it is. It's legal, and that's what it is. Now, shooting invasive stuff like Asian carp, I can kind of agree with, but then again, you can make that argument that, and that other med chopper, uh, you can make the same argument that killing flatheads is they're an invasive fish. So, I don't know. It's, I think the deal is there's enough balance that it's not having that much of an impact. So, uh, I think, I don't think it really impacts, that's why I don't get too bent out of shape over it. I know some people go maniacal and crazy over it, but I don't know. I don't know that they're, I don't think they're having that big of an impact on anything. So, yeah, that's a helicopter. There's a, uh, that's one of the medical helicopters. It's kind of weird. They're flying that route, that slow, that's weird. Anyway, uh, yeehaw. So there we go. It's almost two. It is two o'clock. With that, get over here. Let's say good night. Appreciate you guys watching. We enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you like the channel. Smash the thumbs up. And that's about it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Bye. -bye.